The wigs were set up wonderfully. Um, and it was cute the way it was done because people came in, for instance, um, there were two girls who came from the Huff Huffington Post and they were interviewing me about my wigs and we were in a really cute studio here in Chelsea, the same studio where we did the photo shoot for the wig box covers and catalogs and things like that. Um, and it was a four hour event, so you know, none of the, none of the press overlapped one another. And everybody got um, takeaway bags, and in the bags there was a wig for everyone. The great thing is, is that Can my I get a wig. Yes. I mean, you know. Yes. The one that you put on. Yes. Okay. You know, I have wig heads with my line. Really long necks, beautiful girls. The nose is um, identified, but um, there are no eyes or anything like that. Pink, like the color of my nails, pink. Long swans. Um, and they say Wendy Williams hair world at the bottom. So my wig heads were set up. My travel luggage for your wig is set up. Um, the shampoos, conditioners, gels. Yeah, there's product to take care of your wig. I mean, it's hair world. It's not just Wendy Williams wigs. The wefted hair, the clip-in hair. And my Antoine was there. All the boys stayed. But Antoine particularly was really helpful because, you know, wearing a wig yesterday. is not for the faint of heart. And he was, when the girls and guys were coming, well, none of the guys wanted wigs. As a matter of fact, I don't think there were any guy interviewers. No, they were all that girls. One, that one there from was one OMG uh, Insider. Mm -hmm. But he was behind the scenes. They were just doing, um, and they, I guess they'll hold on to that footage until uh, September. And then they'll, they'll use it. But they did use my comments yesterday talking about something or another. Because I was I, watching the Insider yeah, I, when I got home. I said, wow, they turned that footage around really mm -hmm. fast. Because they were asking you about something really off topic. And I was like, wait a minute. No, he was, uh, no, but that's the insider. I love those shows. And they always try to get, you know, enough footage. And, um, oh, he asked me about Paula Deen. Mm -hmm. And then they and did a piece on Paula about. Deen last night. And I heard my voice from the kitchen. So I ran back in. Like we heard it in Beyonce's thing. Yup. <laughs> like it was in Beyonce's. I still get shocked that I'm on TV. So when I do hear my voice, I do run to the other room. It's not like I roll a tooth suck like my son does now. <laughs> you know, it's just mommy. I remember when the commercials were playing for our show to be starting. I'd be running to that TV. I used to take my camera phone pictures of it just to have for myself. And then, you know, when the cable guide sets up the listings on TV shows, they set it up like a week before the show actually came on and I, I would always go to the cable guy and flip a week ahead and see the <laughs> Wendy Williams show. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, but it was, oh, so this is what Antoine was doing. Antoine was uh, outfitting the girls with wigs. And some of them elected some of the interviewers uh, like the the um, Cheryl from the Star magazine loved her wig she looks so good I wish that we would have had clicks in her wig when she put the pics in yeah, Catherine said, from uh, Huffington, Post. Huffington Post but you know what that's too much if the girls want to put clips in their wigs they're going to have to watch my tutorial video or they all have my telephone number to call back I, I, <laughs> we, I wasn't working like that so Jackie was there with Elaine from Ebony also and Ebony is a natural girl I mean not natural like a press and curl, natural like um, afro, you know. And so she said to me, she said, um, do you have anything for natural? She wasn't being bougie, she was just asking. And I said, well, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I remember you natural sisters. <laughs> and so um, I strolled through, you know, my lookbook and showed her. She said, oh, that's cute. I said, would you like to be unnatural? Because I have a wig for you. It was a wonderful day. And so we're going back. Today's the second and final day of press. You Would, were really in your element yesterday. I love it. You were not tired. I was like, why is she still got energy? You love talking about hair with everybody. The same energy. I get very enthused. Well, you know, like I uh, was telling um, the press yesterday when they were coming, I said, you know, there are a lot of people with hairlines out wig lines and whatnot, but I am the only one that wears a wig every single day. I don't mm -hmm. wear weave, I don't wear clip in here, I am wig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're gonna get a wig, or you're gonna hear about wig talk, who better to hear from? I've got a PhD in wigology. Mm -hmm.
supposed to. Guess what I'm wearing today also? <laughs> well, I had a conversation with my wardrobe stylist, and based on um, the activity that goes on in the, in the <clears throat> interview room, I don't need to wear something so tight and snatched, what? and I don't need to wear a high heel on my broken foot. So, I'm wearing my denim dress. Finally. Um, yup. Yeah. She I, won, guys. She won. No, look, I didn't wear him down. All I was telling him was, you know... I'm on hiatus. I was so in my element talking yesterday, I was forgetting to stand up straight and hold my stomach in and everything. I was just, I felt so comfortable talking about my wigs. And my partners were there, you know, specialty commerce. They're based out of Boston. They were there, and the Glam Squad was there, and Ro was there, and I just felt really secure and assured. And so when I get that feeling, all of a sudden I forget to hold my stomach in, stand up straight, and all that other kind of stuff. I mean, my, my pinky toe was hurting, and so I, I did talk to everybody with my shoes off. He's over in the corner, eye rolling at me because, you know, he's like, here comes more press. Please put your shoes on. <laughs> no, I'm not going to put my shoes on. I'm talking about hair. I can't do two things at once. <laughs> I didn't that so I wanted to be really comfortable today. So my whole outfit comes from my very own closet. This is but the thing. Zoom in close. You know, I tell you, we rubberize mm -hmm. because that, that saves, um, first of all, they don't skid. But unfortunately, the rubber doesn't go all the way up and then right here they don't do the heel for whatever reason why doesn't the leather spot do the whole why can't they just put a whole slab they of rubber they do the whole thing they do yeah. oh fabulous so we just need to get them redone basically yeah well we don't have to have them redone these are size 12s and these fit good these have been stretched beyond belief so i'm going to wear flats and where's my belt mm -mm, i'm not leaving that for wardrobe all right i'm going to give you the story of this belt <clears throat> you know i'm a frugal nista However, when you pass through Barney's <laughs> and you see a belt that is going to do you like this, you pull out that credit card and stop eating. When did you get it? This is about three years old. <laughs> now, Kanye. Kanye, I love your bag. Thank you. It's legendary. Here, you give me the camera, and I will point down at the bag. How long have you had this bag? It looks well-worn. Um, probably a year. Really? You were carrying every day or something? Yeah. Yeah. My dad got it. It's mm. beautiful. Thank you. This is very <laughs> cute. I know they're waiting for me to angle up to your um, face, and I'm not going to do it. But what I will say... Ma'am Sora, yeah. why, why do I hate lace? <laughs> Why do you hate lace? Well, it's not it you, Jessica. Like it's me. It's a silly fabric. It seems like a stupid, silly fabric with no use. I don't like lace on my bras because I feel as though they in, they hinder the performance of your breasts well, we by making it look lumpy, okay. making them look lumpy. And I don't care whether you buy your lace at Conway or whether you buy your lace at La Perla. A lumpy bra is a lumpy bra. You like it in a dress? Lace just reminds me of print. You know what? Maybe that's it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I like Prince, but I don't love... I wasn't in love during the Prince movement. Apollonia and all those girls, and Prince, and the heels, and... And Morel says Prince is the only guy who just seems to get a pass. Every straight man get that man a pass. I don't know. I don't really... I never looked at Prince like Not that. Not wearing um, a smoky eye. <laughs> he does wear a smoky eye, you're right. It's cute. I like it. When I watch um, Hollywood exes, I look at his ex Mai Tai, who's you know been to our show before, and for the life of me, I I can't picture them together. I just I can't picture them together. But knowing her, I guess gives us a little bit insight into him. I guess Kanye West purchased uh, these two Hummers. I saw that um, on MediaTakeout.com and then oh, right. they also uh, showed it on the OMG Insider last night. To drive around Baby North and Kim, he doesn't want the paparazzi to mess with them and he's hired two security guard drivers. Here's the thing. If you want to go undercover, then you don't buy a freaking million dollar. It's the same one that Obama has for when he needs a tank. They're tanks. They're real tanks. But able to be in the streets. A uh, million dollars a piece he bought two. If you don't want the paparazzi to know where you are, why don't you drive a Prius? 
mm -hmm. and bulletproof that. And I was reading an article on them. He was saying the usual stuff. You know, he's ever controlling of everything that she does, and you know, he's totally in love with North, and he only leaves North for like an hour at a time, which I don't believe that part. I mean, I believe that he's totally in love, but I don't believe that he's uh, living there at the house and all that other kind of stuff. I think that he probably has a hotel room, and he goes over to the house, and he spends the majority of the day until Chris comes back, and then he leaves. Um, and in the meantime, you know, Bruce has been living at that place that they have in Malibu on the mm -hmm. beach, and the little girls I was reading in uh, one of the magazines allegedly have been throwing parties all summer long, but you can imagine, one of them 17 and one of them is 16, this is their summer. Yes. And their Kardashian. And their Kardashian, Jenner's, yep, this is their summer. So what time do we have to leave? Nine o'clock. And it's, it's 8.35. So um, the wig that I'm wearing today is um, the same version of the one yesterday, you know, $7.99, it'll retail, and, uh, but I'm wearing it in brown. And I'm going to have a center part, and, and he's flattened it. Yesterday's wig was really beautiful. Even my son, when he walked in, and he's very critical, he said, Mommy, the wig is beautiful. He didn't say it like that, but he always has something slick to say. When he, when he doesn't like something, boy, he lets me know. The reason that I didn't include them in the wig is because not everybody cares about a damn blonde highlight. But if you care, then you buy a package of my Wendy hair mm -hmm. and, and just sew it in. <laughs> this one is Wendy by Wendy Williams. They're all named something. You know, the Paris, the this, the that. Um, that's the Wendy. So I'm really jazzed about this. Do you maybe want to come over for a second? Okay. You know what? How about we do this? How about I finish getting dressed and you can join us on our ride in the car if you would like. We have just a regular town car. Oh, it's going to be like a clown car. <laughs> and we're all gonna... Wait. Hey, Rob, did you, did you order a truck? Oh, the way I got in was a town car. Oh no, it's always a separate thing. Okay. All right. So then you'll come with us for the ride. I'll take you through Manhattan. And then you'll come with us into the studio and I'll show you um, some of the wigs. You know, I have 52 wigs in my line. All 52 girls are not in the room. But this is just a taste for, remember, this is the setup for. Um, the press yeah. so you're not going to yeah. stay for the uh, for the interviews and all that but you can certainly join us as you are my people do you like my dress for what it is it is what it is it's cute right and i'm gonna wear my flats come on let's go Hi, good morning. You go around to the other side. So, I know you don't get out much, or we don't get out together much. Um, the studio that we're going to is actually in this neighborhood. It's in Chelsea, so it's not a long ride. For those of you who are displaced New Yorkers, and you might live someplace else, Canada, Nigeria, wherever you live. Um, here's your city. Oh, hey, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> Those are my people. You know, it's it feels like fall here in New York. It is crisp. Yeah. It is crisp. It feels healthy. Like today's a good day to ride the subway. It's not going to be too hot in Germany. I'm not going to neglect that fruit today. They have that same fruit. What are those called again, Memsor? About the lychee. Lychees. Oh my gosh. They had breakfast yesterday, but it was just coffee and fruit. And I was in my wig zone, so I didn't want anything. Well, my energy started to lower around 11 o'clock in the morning, all that talking and no eating. I went over and I looked at the fruit with a side eye like hmm and it turned up lip. Nobody wants some damn fruit. The cherries were pitted. Those were pitted cherries. They were pitted. Cherries were pitted and delicious. 
and there was lychee fruit, which I had never had before. So sweet, so good. And meaty. Mm -hmm. Hope they have that same today. And then when we get here, keep in mind, this is a brownstone and there's no elevator. And the steps are very serious. So serious that Jessica's going to need both hands on her heart and she won't be able to film as, as we go up. The traffic is excellent today. Nice. Yeah, right? I don't know whether you can see, but you see that um, the scalp is scalpy. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is 100% this is 100% hand tied wig, so the whole cap is like that, light and beautiful and gorgeous. I'm so proud of this wig. I'm so proud of the whole line. I do like dimension in my hair, and I like to have control over over the dimension. So the idea that Antoine did put these tracks in, you can do this at home. I do it at home. All you need is a good Lifetime movie and a needle and thread. By the time the movie's over, your wig will be done. We're here. Okay. And what's in there? Mm. Okay, thank you. All right, so here we are. This is my team from Specialty Commerce. This is um, my after show. I'll explain another time. Anyway. <laughs> So you're shocked by it, right? Yeah. I'm so out of breath from the steps, but look. I know the steps are something. This is what I was telling you about this wig. Uh, you know, $7.99, but what you get is a wig you don't have to fight to make straight. This dries like this, you know this. Yeah, you look fantastic. It looks so youthful. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are you a natural girl? It's okay. <laughs> All right, so I just want you to come very quickly and just see. Um, here's some of the girls set up. You can cut it off. Okay, hi, hi, guys. I wanted to show you. Um, I wanted to show you. You never saw my carrying case. Look, right? Your wig should be carried with dignity. And you take this out and you put it on the dresser wherever you're going. And then, and then my wig heads, they're all the girls. That's En Vogue and um, the cover girls, <laughs> all lined up. SWV. Yeah, and SWV. These are my wig heads. Um, we'll talk another time about them and my products. And it's another day of um, press. So. And the, um, we actually have professional models who, who've modeled for it. It just so happens that we have all my pictures in here um, for this, for talking to press. But come on, you have to go. This is what she looks like before the highlights go in, see? This is, this is what I have on right now. This is gorgeous. 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 Come on, the door. Come on. I love you for watching. See you next time. Hi. 
Oh my gosh, I'm just coming in from the house. Good morning. Louboutins. Is this me? Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you mind? No, you can take it, yeah. Okay. Oh my, is, whose is that? No, Rachel's? Someone else. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Tristan. I'll carry it though. Okay. Do I look like a bag lady? <laughs> this is a fabulous bag. I'll be my own bag lady. <laughs> there are at least four pair of shoes in here that I need to check out for season five. I can't wait. Dog on it. It's only Friday. We got a whole nother weekend. Ten more days. Yeah, ten more days, Tristan. Everyone. I'm ready. It's me too. I'm ready. Oh, I've been ready for like two weeks now. Yeah. My mother um, was sitting at our kitchen table, and we were having kitchen table talk before we left. So one of the last things I said to her, Mommy, do you like this wig? It's from, you know, Wendy Williams Hair World. And so she says, I love it. I said, but you know, Mommy, I'm not a fan of straight. And she said, neither am I. Shady-like. So I was like, so do you love it or not? And so she said, it looks nice, but I prefer... You know, my mother loves the beachy thing that I do. She loves that. Me too. But. Hi, fellas. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I love my guys. Who's here? Hi, Wig. Hi. What are you working on? Wigs. <laughs> you want to try on shoes? Let's see what Memsor has for us. I can't wait until the second R&B Divas. <laughs> I've been thinking about you. back I have a shoe delivery and I'm right in the middle of it okay bye <laughs> only people close to me have my number so only people close to me would understand what I mean when I am in my own time you can count on one hand how many times my cell phone will ring and house phone please we only have a house phone because we have a kid in school you know um, so when it's a snow warning or school's closed or whatever, they leave the message and like that. Uh, flats. Gorgeous. Oh, I die. I die. I am keeping them. Oh my gosh. Pointy toe, low vamp. That's me. they're gonna hurt in the beginning but oh my gosh toe cleavage look sexy sexy ignore the scar right all right I'm keeping these all right okay season five because guess what a woman does not need to wear heels all the time to be sexy there are some sexy heels Die. Die. Because, you know what? These are the ones I came in with, but as you can see, they're cork. Cork is only for a particular time of year. So, these are more appropriate for now, and I'm dying. I am loving the color, I am loving the feel, and they are size 12s, so they will fit. I'm keeping these also. Every magazine this season and they're giving girls a break and saying girls don't break your neck you have to have cute flats python in black size 12 is there a debate hell no i'm keeping them okay one more pair I 
I die, I wake up. <laughs> and I look. Eh! How are you going to deny these beauties? Look at that beautiful color right in here. Look at the navy blue. I see navy blue. I see gray. I see um, a brownish beige. I see a patent leather peep. I see size 11 and a half. I'm keeping them. So, I'm keeping all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Having your own show is the best invention ever. <laughs> <laughs> so what shall we do next? Here's what I was thinking. Since we have some time, do you want to go across the street? I think it'd be fun. We could play Perler's Piano and see the new staff. I want to surprise them. I don't go over there much, so whenever I go over there, um, it's always like, aha! What you doing? <laughs> Put that social media away and get back to work. Great thing about this show with social, me social media is work. Is it, it, All right, let job. me put on my shoes. Come on, we'll go across the street. Brendan! Hi, uh, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Hi, boss. What's going on? Hi, Brendan. Hi, where are you going? Across the street? To do what? Well, what time do we have to do a week? We have a little after one. I'll find after one. Right. So, okay. I'm just running. Okay. We're doing a little show. I just had a good lunch. What'd you have? Rich hot dumplings. Pekin duck dumplings. They were to die for. I'm gonna order food when They're I get back. They're awesome. Yo, hello after show, goodbye. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Thanks. Okay, bye Brendan. Pekin duck dumplings. Okay. Killer. There's too much grease on duck. It's very fat and I can't do that. I love being back. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. I'm keeping all the shoes. Right. <laughs> it's so gorgeous in New York. It's like 60 degrees, uh, 70 degrees, and it feels fallish. But it's not fall. Not yet, technically. Happy holiday to my Jew Jewish friends. Tristan, are you supposed to be doing something that you're not doing because you're working? Well, I'm, I'm working on a new segment, so when I'm done with this, I'll continue working on that. What do you mean from... Are you going to go to Temple? No, we had Rosh Hashanah dinner last night in my in-law's house. Gefilte fish, uh, liver, the... Pate. Pate. Um, my favorite. Me too. You get an apple with honey for a sweet new year. Yeah. It's very good. Um, and then we have brisket, stuffed chicken, stuffed cabbage. It was very good. Mm, so good. I like the food of your people. <laughs> Do you like the food of my people? Collard greens. Collard greens, greens grits. Grits. Grits and shrimp is nice. Grits and shrimp is really yeah. good. As a matter of fact, my mother, uh, who I left at the kitchen table, uh, wanted to go back to their apartment to get started on her recipe because she's having girlfriends over for lunch tomorrow. And so she says, Wendy, I'll make you a pan. She always makes me a pan. You know, Kevin and Kevin don't care about um, the grits and shrimp and sausage and stuff like I do. I said, Mommy, don't do it. You know, September 16th is coming. Mm -hmm. And I saw yesterday some of you all said, I've been eating over... Tristan, did you see that? I did see that, yes. How dare you? I have not been eating. <laughs> Eating is very 1999. <laughs> <laughs> what floor? Okay, here we go. How dare you? It's because I have a face of a cherub. I know I have chubby cheeks that you thought. I haven't gained any weight. Maybe like three pounds, like, you know, when we were on tour, but that'll be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> if I don't eat today, which won't happen but not duck. The kids always have candy around, so I guess I'll start with candy. Hi! Hello. Oh, look, interns. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Hello. How are you doing? Patrick! Hey, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Good. Your stripes are crooked. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank Good. you. Yeah. What's all going on? Intern orientation. Intern orientation. Where is that? Follow me. If wow. you want to go. I had no idea. I had no idea. Intern orientation. Wait. You know all this wouldn't be without me starting as an intern. Humble, grateful, fetching things and keeping my mouth closed and my ears open and observing everything. I am an intern. Let's go see these kids. Joe, where are they? Where are they? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the show and the after show. Are you familiar with the after show? Yes. Are you familiar with the show show? Yes. <laughs> you know, I started as an intern myself, so I know that great things come from getting coffee, hauling water bottles, and doing things that you might not want to do. You know? So work hard, and you got Joe, and Jason, and Patrick, and all them. Do I know any of your mothers? <laughs> It seems like every intern session, there's somebody's mother who I know who's gotten them the job and then all of a sudden they say, oh, I'm Cheryl's daughter. And I'm like, really? <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you. And welcome to the show. Thank you. Stylish. <laughs> yeah. I like your hair. Thank you. Uh -huh. Nice. Curler? Not here. Okay. Well... David is not in his office, but the door was opened, and you're monitoring me. I'm not stealing. However, So now I'm going back across the street because we have stuff. We're excited to show you today. We changed some things. We changed some colors based on what you said yesterday. Yeah. And I think we got some good stuff to show you. It's, we have a little, little more of a purple look behind you, but not like strong, but just sort of a light purple yeah. tint. Yeah. Which I think will look great with you. Okay. And um, and we changed just a couple things on the wall, but it's, it's hot. Okay. It's hot. I can't wait to see. We've got surprises for you. Just a couple of tweaks on our set. I can't show you now. Come on. Wow, look. African-American Dave. That's right. <laughs> Do you want to hear me play the piano? Yes! I don't play the piano really, though. I play guitar, but I can play the piano. Do you want to play the guitar, the bongo, or the piano? I can play? do all of them at the same time. No, I, I, what do you want to hear? Which one do you want to hear? I don't really do the bongo well. I'll show you the guitar. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know if it's in tune, though. Okay. David, and your candle? Every rose has its thorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That sounds like that song. It's too long. I got the blues, baby. Summer's too good. I'm glad it's gone, cause it's on September 16, honey child. You got shows, honey. 
to show you what's good on daytime. I've got wigs and wiggle and lots of giggles if you spend time. It's the Wendy Show. Don't you know? Take it on the road. Okay, can I tell you? Sure. I know that this season, as long as we're talking, is about the number five. There are five orig original Williams. I have three siblings, my mom and my dad. This is our fifth season, and I am going to be turning 50 in July 2014. And you were asking me about Bucket List. No lie. Mm -hmm. Kevin has been encouraging me to think about stand-up for a long time. If I could get one or three of those writers that write things, you know, because all the biggie comedians, they don't, they're not, they, they get things written and then they, they do their own twist. Imagine how much funnier it could be if I had like somebody who writes for Letterman or Leno or, or Handler or whatnot. I would like to do a night of stand-up. That's on my bucket list. That's fantastic. Just one night. Yeah. There are people that write just for stand-up. Yeah. You wouldn't want to write your, some of your own material? No, I want to see how funny it could be with real writers. Writing material for you. Right. Yeah. And then filling a room. But you're so naturally funny on your own, you could probably give a writer some of your own material, that you, and they could hone it to make it work for, stand yeah. for the stage. Yeah. Because a lot of what you do is sort of stand up. You're just sitting down. On the show. <laughs> Sitting is the best. Yeah, you don't like to stand, so I don't know about this idea. I'm not a stander. Yeah. Um, that's a great bucket list. Though. Yeah. That's that's actually most performers' biggest fear is stand up. No. It's it's frightening. But I want to do it someplace big, whether it's Caroline's right. or maybe the the intimate theater in Madison mm -hmm. Square Garden mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like a real, you know. Anyway. They're asking me what my bucket list is for 50, because the whole season, apparently, in and out of, you know, what do you want to do as you get there? Like, I want another tattoo. Didn't get it done. I want to learn how to knit, which is so 50, or 150. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and stand-up. I'll keep my list going. Wait. Would you consider getting a tattoo while doing stand-up? <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm picking up. <laughs> Outside the box. Outside the box. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going across the street. Okay, I'm right behind you. Okay. That's what she said. Oh. Hell <laughs> 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 mess. Uh, where are the producers? Oh, oh yeah. They're all down there. Oh. Okay. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi. Oh, here they are. <laughs> It's Emily, it's Norman Hi. from Hot Topics, it's Suzanne from Suzanne World, Hi. and you know Jason, you know? who has uh, been appointed as one of our new co-executive producers Yay! of the show. Yay! So he's got a heavier hand in the game than just how you do it. <laughs> Jason, what's this? Oh, oh my gosh. That's a famous Japanese artist, and the, left, the one on the left, Honey Boo Boo's pet. Wow. Excuse me. They're calling, they need you in the studio. Oh, dear All right, here I come. Okay. Yeah, okay. Come on. Thanks, Thanks Steve. Over Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Did you get a package? Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you. Okay, I need you to stop pinching in. I can't let all these people go. I'm holding their elevator. What floor do I go to Rachel Ray? I'm going across the street. This is the end of our time. I love you for watching. Bye! running from you, but I was running out, like, out of here as in go home. Um, Steve! Steve Wilkos. I like him. So, I had a great time today on the show. It was our last breast cancer survivor makeover. 
And so we ended it on a high note. Her dress? Don't you want that dress? And Antoine had made that wig for me. Yeah, it's from my wig line. Um, and, but it started out brown, you know, and he colored it for me and added more hair into it to make it thick alicious and everything. And uh, then I saw the density of Lynette's hair, you know, as it grew back from chemotherapy. And her hair is like really thick and gorgeous. And she said, you know, that she missed her thick, gorgeous hair. And you could see there were like no patches of bald or anything or thin hair. Um, so I said to Antoine, I said, let's just, let's, let's give her the wig that you just made for me. So now that I have an endless supply of wigs, he'll make me another one. I like my dress. And I liked my jewelry, simple. It's Diane von Furstenberg, size medium. I stretched it to a large though. <laughs> Woo! Y'all gonna make me lose my mind! DMX is coming to the show, you know that, don't you? Next week. He's coming to the show next week. I wanna sit down and talk with X. Um, he actually called here to come, which was odd because he's a guest that I really wanted to be here on the show. And so he called us. Well, you know, his, his people called. And I, I can't wait to sit down and talk with him. And then we're going to end it on a high note where after this couch chat, which is going to be very wonderful, um, then he's going to do party up. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Yeah, it's good. I'm in such a rush to get out of here, believe it or not, that I still have on um, my makeup from the show. What was I doing? <laughs> what was that? Take a chill pill. No, you know what happens. Okay. What happens is, bye guys, have a nice day. Oh, I love Smarties. Do you love Smarties? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. oh. My room. <laughs> um. My room. <laughs> um. It's 12.30 now, here in New York boy gets off the school bus at 3.30. It's very important to me that I get home before he gets off the bus so I can have some me time to remove my makeup. Oh my God, so properly put on my robe. I hate sitting around the house in clothes, even loungy clothes like sweatpants and leggings and stuff. Mm -mm, not good. I collect robes and moo-moos and that's the way I do. <laughs> it looks very uncomfortable when you watch TV and people are sitting around their house like in jeans and stuff. Yeah. <sighs> Leftovers tonight for dinner. I just have to figure out the proper sauce. Oh! I have broccoli in the fridge. Good, perfect. She's more Bye, Joni. Joni, do you want to take the elevator? Don't hold it for her, though. If she doesn't get in, then hurry up. Where are you going, hunting or fishing? Oh. I'm playing a league on Tuesday nights. Well, it's Tuesday afternoon. No, I'm going to practice. Oh. She's good. Yeah. I've seen her. This play, I've seen her watching play before. Really? Yeah. Cheaper than a shrink. <laughs> Do you play here in Manhattan? Yeah. So you're going to the pool hall to practice? Yes. Right well, now? I'll have to make a few stops first, but then that's where I'm going. And then what time is the tournament? Seven o'clock. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What an interesting hobby. I like it. I've been playing for a while. Is it mostly men? No, it's mixed. Different skill levels. The league is called APA, American Pool Association. That's 
That's nice, Joni. Somebody asked me the other day, do I have outside interests? And I said, no. I, I don't have any outside interests. I do this show, I go home. I'm interested in eating and, and, and lounging. Those are my outside interests. I have no hobbies. It's not true. You have all your it's art stuff. Know? Right! Oh, you're, you're right, I do do stuff! See, I do stuff! <laughs> I'll see you later, see you tomorrow. Bye, Tony! Bye. Kill him! Or something. Bye. Break a stick! <laughs> oh, I just got you for my birthday! Oh, well, happy birthday! Bye. 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 bye! bye! Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going home to participate in a hobby. The lounging and watching TV one. <laughs> I love you for watching today and I'll see you next time. Ah! Woo! Da, 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 da. Patrick, I almost didn't recognize you. I guess that's what Halloween's all about. Hola! Look at Jasmine. Jasmine, I can't get over. I think that you need to dress like I'm this. Again. I love your costume. Oh no, I love your costume. Thank you. You have really <laughs> good legs. Thank you. The costume in the back is so short. You know, I know it is. I know I have on shorts though. Yeah, I know it's a good one. <laughs> Halloween, a chance for everybody to dress tardy. It was definitely my chance to do one of these with full butt. I loved it. I love my costume. It was made for me by. Um, somebody who I've known for a very long time. His name is Steve Lindsay. And Steve made me this Wonder He's obsessed with Wonder Woman. And I, I'm not obsessed, but I, I, love, I do love Wonder Woman. And he literally, with needle and thread and buying the fabric, he made me this costume like seven years ago. Um, and I know what you were thinking during the whole Hot Topics. I knew, no, let me take this off. Oh yes, girl. <laughs> I wanted this, this cape to drop the whole show. Oh, I double knotted it. So look, I know what you were thinking during Hot Topics and you didn't see a roll hanging over anything. What you saw is boning. You know, sometimes the boning, look, look. Do you see this right here? See, that's not fat, that's the boning in the costume. I was very conscious of that. I was like, hmm. The whole time I'm You're sitting like, for Hot Topics, I'm like, I hope people don't think that I possibly have jelly hanging over. <laughs> not that I haven't, but I dieted down. I started to spin out of control a bit. This fit me seven years ago when he made it for me. And that fits even better now. And there's no stretch in it. So it is either it fits or it doesn't. And so it fits. Claus, yes? Um, we are going to load the audience out. Yeah. And then we're bringing you back out to the floor for a staff photo. Oh, I've got to put that cape on? <laughs> or should I it's take It's going to take 10 capeless? minutes. To, oh, excuse me. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it didn't come with these. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. We put these on for obvious out, yeah. reasons. Yeah, we can take them off again. The no, thing. let's leave them on. Wait, you just need to take the, I pinned the thing yeah, through it. Alright, I've got it. Yeah. Got you. You need to be still. Okay. Let's get put to the thing. The last thing I did before I left the house was put a note on our door saying, no candy. And I made, I put it on there big, like, no candy. Don't go to the house, ring in the door, no. If I lived in Malibu, it probably wouldn't be a big deal, you know, because people ring the doorbell and there's Rock Hudson. You know, you ring the next doorbell, there's Goldie Hawn. You're, but in Jersey, you ring the doorbell and, you know. It's a killer. It, yeah. I don't know if you'll see Rock. No. Well, I mean, well, maybe not Rock Hudson, but you understand what I'm saying. You know, I just, you know, I find that um, at Halloween, it is people's chance to be nosy about the hunters. And so there's a whole lot of unnecessary how you bowing in and doorbell ringing and things like that. And I just, I don't like that, you know? I, I like to live a nice, quiet life. Um, and my neighbors should actually be happy for that, that we don't, because I know they probably thought when we moved in that you were gonna party like rock stars and, and I guess, you know, being black, leave Cadillacs on cinder blocks in the driveway and not mow our lawn and, you know, whatever. Um, and then being the celebrities, you know, I guess, you know, a drug-fused party every single weekend and, and um, Turns out my neighbors are, are real fun people, the whole neighborhood. And I know a lot of the girls in the neighborhood and everything, but they don't, I don't, I mean, you know, sometimes I'll go and sit at a pool. Sometimes, you know, I'll say, come over, you know, for some white wine or go over to their house or something like that. But for the most part, if they were counting on party like a rock star, they are so disappointed in our family. We are so 
boring. We are so boring. We are. But boring is good. We are so boring. Every once in a while, my husband might, you know, gun gun the convertible, and it might, might do a little a little Bieber, but not really. Every uh, maybe once since we've lived here has he Biebered, and then also, um, my guys my guys love to um, bond by washing the cars. Okay, so they do put on music, full curses, and keep the doors open, and they they okay they do do that. But bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh. She said, see you Tuesday. What's Tuesday? BMX. Oh, she got, you know, she got tickets to come back. I feel very confident. You should. I do. I, I feel very confident. I, you know, I feel, I, feel, I feel good. You know, like me and Holly Robinson were saying, by 50, it kind of is what it is. And um, it's really time just to get right with it. I, and I'm so right with it. Thank you. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Oh, oh right, the staff picture. I feel, I feel really um, good about myself. And the things that I can't fix, oh, well. I make a joke about them and keep it moving. I love that you watch. I'm, I feel good about my career. But I'm talking about physically speaking. I, I feel good. You look good. Turn this down. Oh, Lord. I mean, there's not much you can. I mean, I sure there are things. That you, look, do you see? Do you see? Are you thinking that this is fat? No, I told you what this is. It's not. That it's not fat. There's, these are the things. But I feel really good. I feel like I own it. You know, um, I I spent especially you know growing up coming from a place of fat, and then growing up being the big tall girl and all that other kind of stuff. And I guess going on a million diets and wondering why can't I be the skinny girl, you know, who's only five feet two or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. No, but I'm over her. The girl that I was. The woman that I am would go to shop right just like this. <laughs> it's, it's not perfect, but it's me. There was a time I wouldn't even talk to you with my arm up because I've got that. Own it. It's about growing into your own. Yes, growing yes. into. Let me see you grow into your own. Been grown. I can't understand one thing. What, baby? Why are you now putting on a Halloween costume when the show is over? I'm not, We're actually. Not. He's We're about to um, show his bra. Yeah. Blue. <laughs> I got a date this weekend. Yeah? Yeah. He's coming into town? No, I'm going. You're going out there? Yep. Just for the weekend? Yep. What day do we go to Vegas next week? Thursday. I'll be back. I don't even know if the press release is out about what we're doing. Not yet. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah. What we're doing and what I'm producing. Wendy Williams Productions. Uh oh. But I, but I need the help of all my boys and 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 a fabulous gown in this room that I don't want you to see. Oh. <laughs> go, go. It's only going to be like. I have a mole. Did I ever show you? I have a, oh no, you can't see it through my um. I have a, a beauty mark on my thigh. So, we're only going to Vegas for 24 hours. But it's going to be exciting. Who? Who? Oh! <laughs> I'll see y'all on Monday. I'll see y'all on Monday. What's that? You'll see me What happens in Vegas? What? Stay in Vegas. Vegas. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> there I go again. Borny, boring and corny. Oh my god. This is my belt from my closet and my house. What's it doing here? <laughs> I've been looking for this. You just bought this? Mm -hmm. No, it's, we just bought it down. Why does it have its price tag on it? I've had this for years. I've worn it. I've been wearing it with a tag on it. Mm -hmm. oh, it do you have the same color? Because there's a black and yeah, there's yeah, a black and black. Like oh, you know what? This is not the belt. Yeah. I have a black one. Okay. Which might be at home. Well, you boys really pulled it together. <laughs> this is good for the Andre Leon Talley dress too. <laughs> you keep coming up with options. I have, I have a belt in my dress. You do? Yeah. Wide enough to kind of gather it all up. Yeah. To kind of define the waist as well. Yeah, it's definitely needs a defined waist. I thought that the audience looked fantastic. I love Holly Robinson. You know, she was. I was telling you yesterday um, when I invented friend in my head. I just couldn't figure out what to call a celebrity who I've never met. But if we met each other, we'd be girls. And that's where, uh, and, and I felt about 
Vanessa Williams that way, like never met her, but you know, if we met, we'd be girls. I remember when she won Miss America, she went off to Syracuse, we're the same age. I went up off to Northeastern. You know how you have the pegboards, the cork boards in your dorm room? Um, there were two celebrities that um, I had pictures of that um, I greatly admired um, and still do. Uh, one being Oprah and the other being, no, Oprah's show wasn't on in my freshman year, but eventually she made it to the cork board. Um, but Van Vanessa Williams, definitely. And, uh, and then Holly Robinson Pete. I spent a very, very turning point, a very big turning point in my career um, watching 21 Jump Street. I had just gotten a job in the radio, uh, on a radio station, an AM station in Washington, D.C. It was called WOL, and um, I was only making $9,000 a year, and I lived on Sherman Avenue in D.C., which was hood. Um, and I had a Subaru, which my parents gave me a brand new Subaru for my college graduation. So I finished my stint in St. Croix. You know I was living in St. Croix for like eight months, and I said I wasn't going to leave until I got a job. Well, this is the job that I got. Anyway, I was poor at $9,000 a year, so I made my own furniture. Um, I made a couch. I, I, I made, um, painted everything, and my, my theme was taxi cab yellow and black. And I went into the fabric store, and I made my cushions, chairs. I made, I made my own furniture in the living room. And I had a little tiny TV. And Jump Street was something that I always looked forward to watching at that time. And I remember I had a huge crush on Pinhall, otherwise known as Dom DeLuise's son, Peter DeLuise. Oh, God, I thought he was hot. I've always had a thing for a fluffy man, you know what I mean? Just, just, just you know, a little fluff. Maybe that's because I was fluffy myself, and I always feel as though, you know, if, I, if you're going to hold on to something, then I want to hold on to something, too. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Peter DeLuise. And Holly, through the TV, I just connected with her. And I said, God, I wish, I wish I knew her. I think we'd be friends. Who is, she's like a friend in my head. Anyway, in the small world, because now Robin Givens, um, who's also a friend of mine in, in real life, Robin and Holly were roommates at college. Uh, Sarah Lawrence, they went here. And uh, anyway, full circle moment. Do I want to take my picture with the cape or not? I don't feel like putting the cape on. I'm not going to put the cape on. Brendan is dressed as a beer bottle. Predictable. I did it. Put the Irish kid in a beer bottle. That's funny. Suzanne was funny with uh, Jay-Z. I love Sal's costume. Sal's is the best. Look at my executive Look at producer's Sal's. outfit. Tristan, right there. No. Sal. Isn't that good? Oh my gosh, Hot Topics is dressed as. Oh, my publicist. Yeah, well, look at my executive producer. I didn't know it was Halloween. It's Halloween. So, this is our Halloween picture me and my motley crew. And uh, my Motley crew, minus one, who's right over there. And Mimsor, who, I thought you were G.I. Jean. Come on over. <laughs> I love you for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Suzanne's throwing up the rock. Uh -huh. I learned it today. I was doing that earlier. Oh, the slide down. The she taught me right before the show, like this. Roberta didn't end up being a slutty cheerleader face. after oh. all. No, no, she was a Okay. All right, so everybody. I love you for watching. See you next time. Hi. Literally, it's six minutes after 11. I'm just taking off my stuff. I haven't washed my hands yet. Ew. Everybody really liked my dress. It's just the dress. But. Sometimes just the dress is good. It's new. It's Diane Van Furstenberg. It's a size 12, and it was $365. But a DVF wrap dress is an investment piece. It's not something, or, or else you wait for um, the big sale, which happens like once a year, where you can get a dress like this for $100. <sighs> I am exhausted. Oh my God. Uh, and I don't know what to tell you about DMX, you know? Buy um wig. Okay. <laughs> you did a nice job on my wig today, wig. The baby hair realness is good. Look. Only thing is, I wish that he would use, you know, in my life, 
my real life, I use a lighter color for root realness for my part. Um, but he uses brown. Your scalp is not supposed to be darker than your skin. Presumably your scalp never gets sun. So the root realness in a part would be that it would be a little bit lighter. I like the fashion show that we had today. Every one of those coats is good. I'm gonna ask Ro to call Isaac Mizrahi and see if he'll send me that leopard coat. That, uh, it, it wasn't raincoat material, it was fabric, like a pillow, fa fabric. And um, I, would have, I would have never thought in a million years to put a big girl in a puffer coat. But you wanna know what? It looked good. Peacoat. Yeah, those those don't work for me. And she said it exactly, Jackie did. Double breasts make a breast look gigantic. Double breasted coat, but a peacoat is so classic. You were asking me about my coat. And some of you did guess. Yes, it is the Maximara coat. That um <laughs> boy oh boy, we had to jump through some hoops to get this one. Oh my god. There was no wait list and the coat's not available. And then, you know, you know, I'm a bigger girl, so, or they're only gonna be for the little girls, but I, I love a classic camel coat like this and it feels so good. He literally ordered this for me back in like June when we saw the, you know, the look of fall um, in magazines and stuff, what was to come. And he just got it a couple of weeks ago. I love a winter coat, though. I love a fall coat. I love coats, period. I feel like you can go to Marshalls and get your outfit. You can go to, um, you know, Burlington to get your leggings. <laughs> you know, you can go to Target and get your, you know, you can go any place and get clothes. But during the winter, especially here in the Northeast, your coat is the first thing that comes through the door. Now, the other camel coat that I have, I have a shorter one also. I got that one from Victoria's Secret Catalog. It's Michael Kors from Victoria's Secret Catalog. It's the same color as that, uh, but it's shorter, and I use the belt. I spilled something on it the other day, so it's in the cleaners right now. I wish I could go see Kathy at Carnegie Hall. Ooh, that'd be a good date night. A Friday night, Kathy Griffin at Carnegie Hall. She's one of those comedians who, when I see her telling jokes on TV, I immediately stop and get into it. I, I, really, I really do like her a lot. We were talking about menopause during, um, during the uh, commercial break. Um, because Kathy just turned maybe 53. Uh, anyway, she just had a birthday, and I asked her, you know, I'm, I'm Frank. I, I asked her, you know, you're flashing, or you, you know, what all's doing, you know, with the menopause. I joke with her, I said, I don't see any hair on your face and your waistline is just as slim as ever, you know? And uh, the hair on the face is referring to hormones. And of course, um, you know, sometimes hormones make you gain some weight. So I said to her, you know, so how are you doing? She said, Wendy, she's, I, I said, you know, I just find myself in fits of tears, me, but I don't, I don't, I haven't had any hot flashes or anything like that. And I get, I still get full period. Uh, but I know it's around the corner, so, you know, I'm very aware of my body. And so she said, when it happens, you should take hormones. They've changed my life. I said, in what way? So she said, I would be standing up on stage telling jokes and sweating disgustingly, just sweating. She said, now I'm on the hormones and nothing. Um, she's having an easy time, you know, with the hormones. That's the great thing about, you know, if you're a woman of a particular age and your mom is alive, you can talk to your mother about it. Me and my mom talk about um, stuff like that all the time. I mean, not all the time, but, you know, when, when needed. Uh, and my mother hasn't taken any hormones, and she came through with flying colors. As a matter of fact, I really don't recall my mother's going through menopause years. I, I don't recall her saying that she needs the house extra cold. Maybe I was away at college, or maybe I was... I, I don't know, I guess I wasn't even in the house. And I didn't come from a place of honesty, so of course when she was going through it back then, she was a whole different kind of mother. Like the mother who's my mother now, 
is totally not the mother that she was back then, okay? Um, and I mean that in the best way. Like, her personality is better now that we're grown and out of the house. And now that I'm an assured adult who will go to my mother and talk to her about anything, and then the second she gets corny on me and acts like she doesn't want to talk about it, then I say, Ma, you know, then what's the point? Why are you so uptight? You know, talk to me. I would like to take full credit for bringing my mother out of the closet and giving her a personality transplant. Now look, she, no, my mother's a wonderful woman. You know, she's head cheerleader, very social. What you see in here is exactly who she is out in, in public. But when we were growing up, she was very, just, very about her business. I, I mean, I guess so. You know, three kids, a working woman, you know, having to, you know, you know, help my father and hold down the household and stuff. But she was just very snippy. You know, now she's able to let go and the jokes just are for days. And my mother and I talk about everything from me because I pulled her out of the closet, you know. Because I'm like, well, if I'm not going to talk to you who about it, then who am I going to talk to, Ma? Who, really? We talk about sex and we talk about menopause and... Um, I know that I have to get a colonoscopy this year. She got hers when she was, or next year, she got hers um, when she turned 50 because my, my grandmother passed at 50 um, of colon cancer. So if your mom's around, I get it if you're not ready to talk to her yet because she's, you know, on one. But um, if you're fortunate enough that she's around when she gets a little bit older, um, maybe she would, just as I talk about her, I forgot my parents are arriving here today. Yeah, they're, they're landing in about an hour they're and a half. Yeah, they're back. They're back. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're back. Well, I'll tell you why they're back. They're back because um, some very dear friends of ours, Mrs. Mahan, she passed away. And um, the funeral is on uh, Thursday. Fr it's on Friday, but I won't be able to go. This is a funeral that I would have gone to also. We'll be out in Vegas, though. Mrs. Mahan was fabulous. I mean... Dr. Mahan, um, Dr. and Mrs. Mahan, they have five kids. We were friends with all the kids. This is a black family. Uh, my mother and Mrs. Mrs. Mahan were in a lot of the same social organizations together. He practiced out of Jersey City and just took care of his family beautifully. He's um, a surgeon, Dr. Mahan. He's retired now, but um, he bought Mrs. Mahan a cobalt blue Porsche, and she used to come and pick my mother up. This is back in the 70s. Like, I just thought they were the flyest family. The primary residence was up here, and then they had a beach place down at the Jersey Shore, and I just, you know, this is the, anyway, so my parents were up for the dearly departed Mrs. Mahan's funeral, and um, then they were going to be coming up next week anyway, because um, Centric does something called Being, which is like behind the music, or, you know what I mean? And so my parents are one of the talking heads, talking about me and Being. Um... I don't have that many people who can really say anything from my past life. When I'm done with you, I'm done with you. So I just, I mean, my past is littered with radio people that I don't have nothing to say to you for one reason or another, mostly because of hate. I'm an odd bird. I'm an odd bird. I just, uh, and I admit that. Hey, Michelle, get out of my head. I got her song in my head. I'm going home. Get out of here. <laughs> Suzanne's going to be coming in a moment with the producers to go over Hot Talk panel. I love you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> well, the audience is loaded in. DJ Booth is doing it, and my dress won't zip. All right, I need two people on zipper. Yes, it will. Okay, okay. Oh, let's put the mic on. Uh-oh. What? Nothing. The mic might not be able to fit in there, Joni. We can always make it fit. 
Papa Bosom. <laughs> Papa Bosom. <laughs> the, the tsunami of silica. <laughs> the hot topics are going to be really good today. I can't wait to get out there. I like this dress. Um, Who's our hot talk? Uh, hot talk panel is um, John and Mary and um, Lisa G and oh, Nicole Lappin. Lisa G from Howard Stern Show, Nicole Lappin. Good. Lisa G. Yeah. Welcome back, Lisa G. Exactly. Uh -huh. She's been here before. Why are you breathing so hard? Because he's waiting to do the wig. The wig is on her head. I ain't even finished he with makeup. No, every five I mean, minutes. I didn't do I my, get what I'm can saying. Can we get oh our God. five minutes? Okay. All right. Blue! Uh, am I in? Yeah. You're in. Oh. <laughs> Wait. All right. Look how pressed my boobs are. They just want to be unleashed. <laughs> Release Should the crack here. This, face, this brush on your face, though. All okay. right. Can we watch for the makeup on that chair? Okay. Can we bring the wig just over make and slide chair? it back, please? All right. Wait, bring, it, bring it over. Slide it back like that. A little bit more. I'm not sliding it back anymore. No, not slide back, honey. Come over a little bit more. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> see, uh-uh, see? Y'all. Um, let's grab a... Oh my gosh, it's 10 up. And the lashes lifted. Uh -oh. Ma'am, you've, oh. you've been in the chair later than this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this yeah. is true. Dramatic effect. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, after I wear this dress, I don't mind wearing it again. Do you think we can... Just for a few coins, get a new zipper in the back. Mm -hmm. One of those nice, you know, like a wider one. A wider <laughs> one in like yeah. silver or gold too, right, so to make it all modern. Yeah. Okay. Right. Are we doing eyes? Can yes. Okay. Oh wait, it's not in. Wait, I didn't attach it. Don't pull. Oh god. And you pulled it down lower. You I did I not. Slid. Okay. Slid. Then she slid. Close your eyes. Wait, hold on. Ugh. You better get a glam squad beat down. <laughs> <laughs> beat down. Who are you talking to? Ladies and gentlemen, here is beat to death. What? You get us a beat right Are we doing sapphire today? Yes. You, you mean? Huh? Sapphire? Yeah, it's a sapphire. Hold on one second. Can you sapphire this? bracelet. I don't want to bend. I don't want to bend. Three Bulgari bangles yep. and a Louis Vuitton um, charm. charm and a Cartier watch. Perfect. Okay. Willie takes everything down, enough. then we put the whole look on um, on the website. It's pretty. Okay. What's you? Something comfortable? Should we do the black suede? Just okay, fine. We still don't have another pair of suede shoes so in black? There's pointy ones on here, yeah, for the underwear. Okay. Guess what's on your face? What? <laughs> Orgasm. Ooh. Is that what it's called? Yes, it's orange by blood. I mean by NARS. Oh. That's usually good. I'm so yeah. Can I just have a really pretty nude lipstick? Bloop. Whatever's on this brush. Uh -oh. <laughs> I would take that one if I were you. Oh, it's not nude. No, because your face is too nude. We don't want to get too nude. You're going to look no. like you're going to a funeral. Now get your mind right. You're wearing a statement earring. Mm -mm. Because I know how you are. Here he comes with something old ladyish <laughs> with crystals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Joni? I'm just very mm, uh oh. I'm very okay, particular. Stick to my kid and I'll do the styling. Ooh! Ooh that was oh, me. Wow. Uh oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. She'll be sounding uh -uh. good if she don't be looking good. Ooh! You can always take something off her hand. Don't drop it crazy. It's over. It's no, back. Just slightly. Push it back. Yes, Girl yeah, fight. That's perfect. Right. Girl fight. <laughs> I love you. The nerve of her. Look, um, <laughs> let me see the earring. No, I'll do it after the show. I'm very... Wait till... We have to wait till I leave. I'm very... No, I'm going to trip you I'm very particular about the outfits. Right down to the jewelry. Sometimes I'll have something so wonderfully fitting and and refreshing on, and then he will drag out your old Auntie Mabel's jewelry. Not Auntie Mabel. And, and you know what? To me, to me, it's not about price. It's about just I'm just very particular about my accessories. Very. So he, the, this left hand, I'm in total control. I tell him he has the right hand. So whatever you see on the right hand, if you say ew through the TV. <laughs> uh -uh. Sometimes they ew on that one because it's all the same. Uh -oh. Yeah, so we have to change up. No, 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 no. We don't change up investments. This would be equivalent Ooh. to like, okay. We, these are, this is an investment, this entire thing. That's like people who say, 
Stop wearing your Cartier Love bracelet. Get the screwdriver and, and take Perfect. it off. Mm -hmm. Like, they, like, yeah, no. Child, y'all sit down. Somewhere. I don't mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talking to the audience? <laughs> sit down. All right. <laughs> Six Wendy. minutes. Right, I mean, you wear this every day, show. and every even, day. even it might not be like the value of a Love bracelet, but this yeah, means something sure to ain't. you. Yeah. I don't even like this bracelet, and I've said it to him, but you want to know what? I what it. I love is people with conviction. Yes. Yes. I might not like it, but he loves it, and he'll continue to wear it. To the day I die. Good. Now we can Maybe we can use it to kill you. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to know what? I like this one. Oh, you like it? I yes, I do. Well, she likes it now? Art Deco. Very nice. What? <laughs> Big old lady wine I'm, I'm going to get you, Jamie. Um, could you pass me a... Uh, Back and My work is done. Oh, I love your bracelet. Yep, watch this. I mean, listen, this is the thing. You always argue. It's like you already build an argument even before we try doing this stuff. Oh, I talk it's myself like, into fighting. Yeah, the fight it's like there's there. no fight. Okay. It's like this every Thursday, guys. This is the day I hate the most of the week. Because we do the double show. Ugh. And then in between here, I've already decided what I'm going to get for lunch. I'm easy. I'm going to order it. Come Which on, you, let me have the... She never, yeah, has, any order order she never has any problems out of me. I'm gonna order a half dozen of fried chicken wings because from BBQ. He's an Emmy award I want them fried hard, no, and I want to burn the feathers what's off. That, what's that biddable? And then, like? after our second like? show, we all go to the airport where airport food is the best. I'm gonna have a Whopper Junior later on. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. I always say that, and then what happens is we walk so fast. Like apple pies. Yeah, it's in. The real bag. No? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, I need a Whopper Junior. That's my airport Ooh. treat. Heavy, all cut in half. I need a Whopper too. Get her the gold. It's like an architectural dress. Tristan, you step on my coin, I know something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind this. It's a little Stupid. rosy. I don't mind this, but I have black tights on. What do you think? I don't mind it. I don't either. We can't always be predictable with a suede and a. Alright, hand the Although that one right there is. It... I like this one even better. Mm -mm. Why? Mm -mm. No, I just think there's something, yeah, about the balance of the dress. Mm -hmm. so. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do I look? Mm -hmm. Great. See, it's larger in the front, <laughs> but smaller in the back. We'll take this out. Kind of like me! <laughs> <laughs> I got no booty and all boob. Um, Let me those. get my slippers. Come on, I have to get my rings. All right, I'll grab the lint roller and I'll meet you out there. Okay. Oh my there. gosh! Let you come. Well, I was watching a Queen Latifah. That is my girl. She comes on at nine o'clock in the morning here. I like to tune in to see what her hair looks like. However, I can tell you this: she's about to sign off on her show. And <laughs> if I don't get out there. Lay in with a little moisturizer for dryness. <laughs> as well as it smells delicious. I love Union Square Bond 9. It's just the moisturizer, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I layer it. I have three fragrances that I wear on the show. I wear West Side by Bond 9. I wear Union Square by Bond 9. We gotta get you on the floor. Okay. <laughs> oh! Do it, next one. All right. Do it. I'll eat my gum when I get out there. All right, let me get my slippers. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Wendy's walking. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. See you after the show.
the studio audience for being here. I changed my heels halfway through the show. As soon as we had to play that audience game, I was like, I can't get up there and balance. There's something about the heels. I'm fine, you know, like walking out and everything, but something about, I guess, the homemadeness of a platform stage, you know, it's not as solid as a floor. And they are five inches high or more. And why don't we ever wear my beautiful flats? I've got the best collection of flats of any girl on the face of the, virtually the same thing, Louboutin suede, Louboutin suede. I want to make a new rule uh, in the wardrobe department that we incorporate flats more. Now, I'm not going to put on, a, you know, a flat every single day, but, um, come on. Oh, we don't have to hold on? Okay. Although, a girl does cut a beautiful silhouette with a heel. You know, flats. No. No. <laughs> You can put, make sure that you put those in the, in the story of the show. Okay. Thank you, Jason. John, would you look at this headline right here? Controlled by a madman. He's a madman, and he's controlling. Yes, he is. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch also, uh, John. So now, everybody, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try on... Um, Take care, everybody. Take care. I'm going to go try on uh, gowns again, you know, for, um, for the... Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, I do want lunch. I have to zhuzh something up on my taste buds, though. I'm not sure. So, how many wigs are you bringing to Vegas? I'm going to bring a minimum of three. Mm -mm. And, oh, I, I belch, sorry. But I only want, um, like, I don't want them done up like show wigs, you know what I mean? I, want... I know, I know. We're going we're gonna to have fun with This is so not going to be a show. We're going to have... But a nice variety of wigs okay. in terms of you know, curls and look for, um, swirls and to the sides and whoop de doos and for um, the nude, that nude look. I, I, I was just talking to her. Huh? Where are you? I didn't hear you. You gonna feel me in a minute. Where are you going for lunch? Ain't nobody feeling that. <laughs> huh? Where are you going for lunch? Across the street to get that cheap lunch. Can't eat with your mouth torn off. <laughs> Torn Where are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> um, Get off me. <laughs> flying in the, and being in the airport with them is even better. <laughs> even better. Come on in. I, thanks to Tristan telling me, don't forget to, you know, have the juice. You got to put the juice over your food. You don't just pull the hot peppers out. So here I go. Good, right? No, look at my table. My table oh. is a nasty, greasy, fingerprinty <laughs> mess. You know why? Because the juice <laughs> that holds the hot peppers, AKA the olive oil, mm. it went everywhere. It was an olive oil mess. It's okay. Um, you know what cuts, you know cuts a film on your glass? Uh, vinegar. It just so happens that my fat behind has vinegar in the refrigerator. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, say goodbye to you. You know, I wonder if, like, when Katie Couric and, you know, some of my peers, when they finish their show, are they cleaning a table <laughs> in their show outfit? You guys were funny last night. Oh, right, the view is on. Oh, that's right. I, you have to go. I want to see if they talk. Sherry Shepard called, um, Sherry Shepard called our show in the middle of the show to ask. Wait, hold on. Okay, but my favorite's one. Taylor Swift. Oh, oh well, if they said if they said anything, then they're finished saying it. And Cedric the Entertainer is there. Uh, was it? Oh, you were so funny last night about the kids and the party. Oh my gosh. With all the shoes at the door. 
and I had it going on too. You know, Mrs. Hunter, she went to um, ShopRite right after um, work before going to the school to pick Kevin up and some of his friends. I just, you know, went to the school to pick a couple of them up, but um, I'd gotten some pulled pork and some buns and I was gonna put the pulled pork in a big pan and have the buns there and just let them throw down. You gotta get creative. You know, when you have kids over, it's about more than like pizza and, and stuff, you know? Do you put that much, you don't care about putting that much thought into it? <laughs> then I bought some crumb cakes from Hostess and threw them out there on the table. They lapped it up. I'm like the mom of the year. Ugh. I'm paying the price this morning though. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to eat lunch now. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to have. I was thinking of getting a half dozen fried chicken wings from BBQ and having them fry them hard and then I'll pull my lighter off and burn the feathers off because they have a tendency of leaving the feathers on them. Um, and then I got my hot sauce already. So I, I might have that. I might have fried chicken. Black. Very black. <laughs> I love you for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh-huh. I tried to wait for you. Now you're catching me at the end. I was doing product testing with the wigs. Look at this one. Mmm, it's good. I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes a dress is just a dress. I'm periodic. I'm feeling a little fluffy, and he asked me what I wanted to wear today, and I said, just give me a dress and push me out there. <laughs> what is that? Oh, okay. Thanks, Ralph. Mm -hmm. um, I love all Hot Topic shows. Love, love, love. And on a Monday, what a great way to start the week. We're doing all Hot Topics all through the month of November. If I had it my way, we'd do Hot Topics, all Hot Topic shows every week, at least once a week. What do you think about Portia? I like her. I like Portia, um, I like Portia um, and I'm glad that she understood what I was saying. When I just said to her, I think that she's being less than smart. You might have thought that was something mean to say, but I was prepared to explain to her what I mean. You know, I look at a 32 year old girl who's been married for five years. Well, first of all, you got married too young, okay? You shouldn't have gotten married at 27, especially if you were raised in a house that spoiled you and you had so much to learn about life. And there's nothing wrong with having a lot to learn about life. I just find that you learn more when you're left to your own devices, you know, when you live in your own house and you have to figure out how to turn on the gas, when you have your own car and you have to figure out how to get it maintained. And So now she's back home with her mother and she's living in the master bedroom and she'll continue to be spoiled and not really know how to fend for herself. That's all. That, that's all I'm trying, I was trying to say. That um, we girls only have a certain window of time before appearing less than smart is less than cute. <laughs> you know, nobody, nobody is going to uh, give you a pass. So, after the show, guess who called me? Cordell. Bloop. He wasn't mad, but he's definitely ready to tell his side of the story. And I'm all ears. <laughs> I mean, I could recite chapter and verse what he said, but I like it better when it comes from the horse's mouth. You know, that's what our show's here for. Stir it up, stir it up. <laughs> Watch it all fall out. <laughs> but you know what? Gotta respect the guy who's gonna make the phone call. He wasn't mad at any gay mess or anything that she said. He just wants to set the record straight. I 
got to get together with my um, producers and find out how soon we can make that happen, if at all. Now, one of them's across the street playing the piano <laughs> and working on tomorrow's show. And the other one, I'll see later on account of he sleeps with me. <laughs> what the matter is with you. Do you see it's a whole look? The beachy, the beachy hair matches the casualness of my shoes and of course the coat. <laughs> you remember the coat. Your dad's favorite. My, my father's favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way home. Back to Jersey to get ready for tomorrow. The Wanted's coming tomorrow. And on Wednesday, Pebbles is coming. Ooh. I love doing this show. I love it. 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 The sun goes up. Those cute little boys from The Wanted. They're all kind of cute, but the cutest is definitely Max George, and I want him to sit next to me. Although I like that little swirly one, um, the one who's, mm, he's got, he's a little bit more olivey than the rest, I forgot his name. And then there's little Tom, and then there's Nathan. Oh, I'm like a 16 year old girl. I know the, I know the tea with the wanted. I can't wait to meet him tomorrow. Mmm. Bye, young lady. Have a rotten day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the car. The car's not here? No car's not here. All right. To the right. Goodbye, Roberta. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Bye, thanks. Go ahead, James. What if I got hit by a car? No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Thanks, James. Ugh. Look at that little backpack on that big man. <laughs> I told you, scale is very important. Big woman, big bag. Big man. There you go. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, James. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye, Tristan. Bye. I am going to have the best lunch. I don't know what I'm going to get, but it's going to start with an F for fattening. Suzanne says to me in the middle of um, the, or maybe fried chicken. Sounds good, Wendy. Yeah. Well, Suzanne Bass tells me I'm too skinny. You know I love to hear that. You are skinny. Thank you. Mm, now I'm going to have fried chicken and a sandwich. A bucket o. Mm hmm Okay, this outfit started out to be like a nurse's uniform. A private nurse, but a nurse. <laughs> a nurse's uniform. And then Memsor pulled out my belt and put it on, and all of a sudden it came together with, I like this bracelet, ben believe it or not. Ben Amun, this is Ben Amun. This is nice. Did the new stuff come in? The new stuff should be arrived today. Okay, good. And I like your shirt, Willie, very Parisian. Oh, well, thank you, Mrs. Marcel Marceau. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, all right, where's Antoine? He promised he's gonna let me do the topics on his hair. I think I've, he went to your room. Oh good, he's, 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 he's waiting, <laughs> he's waiting. I'm gonna show you how to do topics. Should I? I mean... Take the belt, you got it? No, don't take the belts off. I don't need it. Come <laughs> um, you know what? Um, you all, uh, there were two things, but I think I told you one on Hot Topics today. Um, thanks, Joni. See you after lunch. The first thing is, is that I was painfully aware that I was forced to cut Pebble's sentences off because um, I was briefed ahead of time from my producers that she takes a long time to tell a story. Don't we all? I mean, I'm a very descriptive person. That was something that I really had to learn to um, hone in when I got this talk show. I no longer have four hours to have diarrhea of the mouth and tell a story. 
So that's why I had to, you know, cut off some of her sentences because um, uh, I read your comments, and um, and and I agree with you enjoy that if anything, she might have done more harm than good for her reputation. I am going to enjoy the chicken as long as I have hot sauce. Wait, hold on. <laughs> go in there. Go in there. It's something nice for job you. This morning. Mmm. Who sent this, Puffy? Huh? This is Rock Team. Oh, sorry. This is oh. Rock Team sent it. Thanks. It's the holidays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's time for, um, oh, God. Yeah, BBQs. Give me a half, half dozen fried chicken wings. Ask them to fry them hard. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I think I want a chili cheese hot dog, too. Don't judge me. I'm skinny. <laughs> I am my own worst enemy regarding weight. People come here, they're like, oh, you're so tiny, but it's TV, TV adds so much weight. I'm really not skinny, but I'll tell you what, it's Thursday, and you know I always look forward to my Thursday meal. You know what, um, I'm going to tell you something else I want, too. Now look, don't judge me, but I also want a chili cheese dog, and I want the chili on the side. They said there's no nitrates and it's 12 inches and it's all beef. And Perfect. so you just want the dog with cheese on it? Or you want the cheese on the side as well? Put the cheese in the dog. So it'll melt. So the chili on the side. Okay. Not a big vat of chili. The kind of chili for a hot dog, that would not be a big bowl. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then look. When the wings come, you're gonna come in and I'm gonna give you three of them. <laughs> right? Just because, you can take them out there. Okay. You can give them to somebody else. Okay. I just don't wanna be sitting in here with six wings and a hot dog because I will eat. <laughs> Antoine? Mm. Uh-uh. Come here, you said, uh, you, you promised. Come here, come on. You promised. Come on. So Boys. a half dozen of fried wings, fried hard, chili oh, cheese no. dog, chili on the side, cheese on the dog. Yeah, tell, don't forget the barbecue sauce. <laughs> Ro, do you want a BBQ too? Oh, no, I'm good. Unless I can deliver. They do deliver. Oh, the margaritas. Sit. I mean, I'm sorry. Not you. Sit at the table, Look, you took that thing out of your ear. What's going on? Your holes no, are going to close no, up. No, they're not. They're, I took them out yesterday. Um, one broke, so I'm, I'm getting some more today. Okay. So now look, maybe we should go into Morel's room so they can really, huh? Yeah. Dean wants to do the magic hair. Can you do it on Dean? Yes! Right Dean, are you there? I'm delivering Dean. I'm oh my gosh, you. then come, come on. I told you I'd deliver somebody to you. Thank you, Dean. Hi, Dean. Hi, Lindsay. Come on, let's in. go. Let's go. It's Dean, everybody. Yeah, come on, Hi, Dean. everybody. Good luck, Dean. Good luck. Yeah, baby. Foreheads forever. Foreheads forever. <laughs> And God. by the way, Dean, you uh, have the Dean's the like, associate. Um, look at you, you and I both. You and I both are like. Well, I, yeah. I have the appointment. Dean, well, Dean's the associate director yes. on the show. He's the what? He's the AD, the associate director on the yeah, show. He's the and, and Pilot High, Pilot High. So it looks like he has no, a like a I'm huge hair. No, Dean. I'm no, I'm Dean like, I'll, I'll want, never come to the salon again. Doesn't matter. No, you're gonna stay here and and, and supervise here. Okay. All right, have a seat, Dean. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go turn on the air conditioner. You don't have to say one word. Good luck. Dean, you'll be finished in 30 seconds. You'll be able to go out and have lunch. People are not going to recognize you. They're going to tell you that you... I, I can't wait till my wife sees this. I know. I can't wait till my wife sees I'm going to turn on the air conditioner. Antoine! I'm right here. Uh, Dean! I'm so excited. Come on. Dean. That's why I never noticed it. You, that's why you always do have it. that thing. Come on. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. No, you're going to do it. I know how to do it, but I'm so excited now. I'd rather direct. <laughs> I, it works best if I had like a little pump spray. Okay, here he goes with the excuses. No, 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 no. What do you need me to do as an assistant? I'll get the paper towels. <laughs> so what you do is just to shape. Yeah. Well, and as you can see, it, it fills in. Can you see, Tristan? Go ahead. What color is this? It's brown. It's dark brown. Yeah, it's much, it's much your hair. Yeah? Do over here, Antoine, because this is their I'm side of the camera. Area. Okay. Oh, your fat arm's in the way. Just watch, everybody. Just watch what happens. Come on, get up on mm -hmm. it, um, Tristan. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Now, does it work in the front, too? Or just... Yes, it does work in the front. Wow, it actually looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yes, see? Right. Bring it up. Bring see, it if up. I have the little spray, I can go under the, the follicles and really spray, get you, close down. There's a, one of the, you're talking about that organ spray? The pump, yes. Okay. Do you know in the beauty supply store, they sell something that looks like an organ at the bottom, and it comes up to a, a, a nozzle at the top? You, these like an organ like that? No, you know, it's... Um, like an accordion. Okay. 
uh, you need to take your topics out of this and put it in one of those accordion things, and you'll really be able to get down on it. Come on, come, come up in here. Uh, yeah, I don't think you have enough in that jar. From no, it's full. No, 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 no. There's enough in this. Really? This stuff is expensive. It works. It works like I don't know what. Mm -hmm. but this is like a thirty dollar thing. Really? Right here. Yes. And listen, and beauty supply stores a lot of times. I know the Harmon near my house um, is always out of the brown. So right. if you go in and you see your color, this is so weird. It's looking. It's looking different I know already. It's looking full already. <laughs> I'm telling you, you are this turning is, back the hands of time. This is so great. I'm meeting my wife for dinner tonight. She's not. She's gonna. She's not gonna know what's different. Come on, get it up in the front. Come on, do it up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She is not gonna know what happened. Damn. Keep look, going. It reads better. It reads better on TV. You look younger. You look younger. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> better on TV. It, no, it, it'll read better in the front on TV. So mm -hmm. you can't go all the way to Dean. We can't go all the way to the front. If you were on, yeah, if you were on I, TV, I just, we would. But we don't want people to be looking like right. I'd be the one walking over you at the restaurant yeah. and say <laughs> he's got all topics. Uh -huh. <laughs> if it's too far, oh. uh -oh. come on, do <laughs> do something. Do something. <laughs> this is not. It's not interesting. We're not going to go all the way up in no, the front. Go all the way but look, right. give him a jagged hairline at least, so it looks reasonable. Is it a little helmety right now? No, it's not yeah, helmety. It's no, it looks it looks good. It, really? oh, heck. it looks nice. And I have to tell. Oh, by the way, I just finished rubbing it with my fingers. Look, nothing on my fingers. Wow. Yes. Look, 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 look. All right. Well, Holy. just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to my life. Yeah. <laughs> all the hairspray and powder that goes on in here. That's all I do is cough and sneeze. Get it right here. Up oh, right here. I'm trying to get my widow's peak. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, get off Dean's hair for just one moment. I'm gonna let Antoine have one more minute of Dean's time, and then he's gonna go for lunch, and I'm gonna go. Um, and Dean's gonna go for lunch, and I'm gonna go take off these clothes. Um, it's not it's Botox and fillers. Mm -hmm. These nodules in the up and my th no. Do you see it? Are you, are you up on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you see one on the other side as well? You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my thyroid disease um, has also given me Graves' disease, two separate things. Graves' disease, probably the most uh, famous Graves' disease person is Barbara Bush, the old one. Remember those bulgy yeah, eyes yeah, she had? Yeah, yeah. She had Graves' disease. What happens is um, the muscles behind my eyes are being attacked by the Graves' disease, and that's why I get the scary stare sometimes. And you're right, I've told you before, I do get Botox just out here to like relax the area. But the nodules that you see, believe it or not, the pressure that is exu being exerted on my eyes inside my head, the back of my socket, has pushed them forward a little bit and pushed my tear ducts out of duckation. So what you're seeing, you're seeing untucked tear ducts. And one day I'll, one day maybe I'll get them fixed. You know, the idea that you even noticed them was, it was a cue to like, oh, wow, they notice. Because a lot of, most people don't even notice. I'm very conscious of them. But yeah, that's not Botox, that's not filler. My, my tear ducts are untucked by the pressure behind my eyes. Will I get them done or not? I, I don't know. I call it frog eyes. <laughs> uh oh, Morel got a delivery too. How do you like it, Dean? I like it. Enough. I like it. Look, when you go to the bathroom afterwards, you use your fingers. And, you know, just work, work it. Yeah, exactly. Bit. But don't work way back here. Just, just right. work this area. Right. But I'm telling you, they're gonna have a fit with you at lunch. I, I know they are. They're, yeah. gonna, they're gonna go to town. I don't like what you did right here, though, Antoine. What happened? You. This, no, no, because the, his follicles are thin. It just looks too fake right here. So I like. I love this. Um. Natural looking. That, that's not natural. It looks like he has topics in his hair. <laughs> All right. Dean, look, like, like with any hairstyle, after you get your hair done, you have to work it. Right. You have, you have topics on your nose, Dean. I don't oh, want good. to touch it, but you <laughs> All right. It's hot All in right. here. Was the air conditioner broke? Thank B you. Bye, Dean. Thank, Thank you, you for coming by. Thank you. And letting us operate on you. Oh. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> I love this show so much. I love this show so much, and I, I caught the Holy Ghost when the double doors um, opened up. 
I caught the Holy Ghost because, um, I mean, I just... And, and, can I tell you something? I loved Bellamy. Do you know, aside from the fact that she does this show that I love to watch, and I will be watching it tonight at 10 o'clock, as I do on Thursdays, the reason, why the, the reason why we don't go over the plot of Scandal on the show is because, remember, we take Friday's show, and by the time Monday comes around, I'm all housewife-fied, and, and we've forgotten about Thursday's Scandal. But I'm there with you, watching Scandal. And Bellamy, as much as I love the show, I loved her attitude even more. Her attitude is like how I feel about this show, and she is not scared to say it. She came out here, I just saw authentic joy and happy. Like, she's, ha she's 42 years old. She's at a happy place in her life. Um, as you can see, uh, she's been doing Broadways and, and guest starring on shows, and now at 42, she got her big hit. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't be this humble at 32. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. If I had this talk show at 32, there's, uh, there's no way. There's no way I would be, um, I guess, as down to earth and realistic about the experience as I am right now. And, and, I, and I watch my own show just like she watches her own show. And I get joy every time I come here. And I still can't believe I have a talk show. And I, and I don't think that that's an odd thing to do. I, I get tired of meeting people that are so affected by their celebrity that they're just so cool and so, you know, hot tamale and everything. I don't care how they are. And I'm not embarrassed to say I watch our show. <laughs> Sometimes I watch it on mute just to see the nuttiness. Our show on mute is funny because... <laughs> That's the secret to a good show. Is it? My, my mentor always said, watch a show on mute. Really? And, and if you want to turn the volume on, that's the secret to a good show. I, I, I watch it, uh, I watch it on mute and sometimes, and it's just, I just enjoy doing the show. So, um, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for criticizing. Thank you for accusing. Thank you for being you. And now I've got to get you to go. You want to know why? Mrs. Hunter has got to fill out athletic forms so the boy can audition for eighth grade basketball audition. tomorrow. <laughs> Try out audition, whatever. And then I've got to figure out how I'm going to get, will Ro already, a telegram, the, 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 or whatever, however she got him there this morning, to the pediatrician. But the question is, because the pediatrician is busy too, how do I know I'm going to get them back by the end of the day? If he doesn't have them in by the end of the day, he said he can't um, try out tomorrow. Well, I say that's wrong um, because they have to be in by tomorrow at 3 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So I've got forms to fill out pediatrician to call and beg, and, um, and chicken to eat. So, I love you for watching and being you. <laughs> Come on in, Willie. And I'll see you next time. On Wendy. <laughs> We want to go, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for our sound man who kept us rocking all so long. He's back there as in the city. Let's hear from Jimmy, everybody. Thanks for those who beat their boo all over. I'll give you those options. Uh -uh. <laughs> Why? To make this it's the Seri, it's the Seri Cruz. This is a very comfortable dress. It's made of sweater, and it was only thirty-nine dollars. Told you. You too, John. Have a rotten weekend. Thank you, honey. You're so mean to me. <laughs> Listen, um, Brendan. Brendan. Yeah. There's a gigantic pair of scissors down on the ground. They're gigantic. What the hell? It's the killer. <laughs> yeah, it's the killer. This it's is where you get weapons. Look. Uh. Have a great weekend, boss. Tony, <laughs> 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 um, did you see Dean's new hair? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> He's got a date tonight with his wife. I know, somebody, I know somebody else that can use it too. I gotta I, find out. Where are that woman? I wonder if she's gonna recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, now, um, uh, listen. Nice you're, you're welcome. You too, Johnny. Here's the thing. You and I have been getting along really well. Nice, juicy, walk-in talks. 
a walk and talk is where you meet me right there at the door when I come off the floor. However, today I do have something to do. Um, Roxy Diaz is here from Entertainment Tonight. You remember Roxy? She was a DJ in Chicago. And then she left Chicago and bye, fellas. Have, have a, a good week. Weekend. You too. Bye, Marco. Bye, mm -hmm. oh, have an awful weekend. I will. I love you. I will. <laughs> bye. Um, so, here's the plan. Which one? For tomorrow? No. I mean, for now and for tomorrow. So, I'm going to keep this on for entertainment tonight. That's what I was telling you. Roxy Diaz is here. You know, Roxy. Um, made her stop after radio in Chicago at um, 106 and Park, and she was a co-host there, and now she's on Entertainment Tonight, and she's doing quite well. So she is, they're doing a story on me, and they've been here all day, actually, from the time I pulled up to the studio this morning, like literally all day. Um, so it's quite a piece. So now it's my turn to sit down with the interview person. And the interview person happens to be Roxy. Did Morel really leave? I think so. Okay. He didn't want to put lipstick on me? <laughs> you have enough for the week, man. Exactly. He, 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 he literally left. I was still out there doing the show. Well, what lipstick am I going to use for Ro Roxy? Candy yum yum. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 that'll teach him. Oh, that'll teach him. Um, so I have to do that with E.T. Um, then, tomorrow is Good Day New York. And we already discussed with the outfit, a pair of slacks. And, you know, it's easy breezy. I would like to have flats on. We're doing a wig fashion show. Let me talk to Wig. Wig? Hi. Wig, have you Hi. seen any of the models that um, they intend on using for... Um, on um, good day. Not yet. I don't know if we're going to use models. It's still up in the air. All right, wait. Come, come in here. Let, let me. I'm turn off divorce court. Mm. I mean, not off, but down. I love divorce court. Um, wig. They. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to use models. So it, it may be just um a really nice display of the wig heads, and then as you talk about the wigs, then. Because they haven't shown us what, who the models are or anything exactly. like that, and you just can't put last minute, yeah. yeah, you can't just put mm -hmm. a wig on somebody at the last minute like that. Um, I understand that. So, but we have the wig heads and everything. They're, they're coming today. Okay. The, yeah, Marcus had them over, um, overnight, overnight from yeah. Boston. Okay. Um, and I guess. All right, so it's going to be two segments. It's going to be one segment if you're in New York. I talked with Rosanna and Greg on the couch. You know, the nine o'clock hour, and then the second segment, I'm doing a wig. Fashion show, maybe with models and maybe not. Yeah. Do yeah. are you are we going to bring boxes of wigs over there just in case they have models and then we can put one on them? Oh, yeah, we always going to be prepared, so we just going to bring everything. Okay. You never know. Maybe we put one on Rosanna. Why are you looking at me like that? Put on Greg. Because she has a lot of hair, and I mean, you know, it's it's hard to talk. Yeah. Like Rosanna has so much hair, and she doesn't need. You know, you have well, a lot of. Maybe it's about with shorter hair. Yeah, like Mike Woods. Oh, great. Oh, great, Kelly. It'll be fun. And then I'm having lunch with my parents tomorrow afternoon. And then Kevin has, um, tomorrow meaning Friday. I guess you're watching this on Friday, so that would be today. And then Kevin is trying out the basketball. Although, all the time we've spent with him having a shooting coach, he better make it. And I'll be a basketball mom. <laughs> I'll be a basketball mom. All right, I'm going to walk you out and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Have a good time today! Wonderful time. And a wonderful time today. Oh my gosh. I love my outfit <laughs> and the company shoes and flats. We don't wear these flats enough, Willie. Really. These are good, aren't they? I love crystal shoes. They're very Seri Cruz. Very, like, a 10-year-old girl. I remember I thought it when I first got these, like, two years ago. I was like, 
These are the shoes that if I had a daughter, she'd want to wear. So why am I wearing them? Because you can never let go of the girl that you are. She helps you be the woman that you are. If these had a pointed toe, they might be more adult-like, but they're very childlike, like princess 10-year-old girl at a birthday party. Grown women look stupid with them? No. I prefer a uh, pointed toe. This is what um, we're in the process of doing. We're in the process of sending all of my um, um, Louboutins to, um, we go to this place called the Leather Spa, but there's places around you, I'm sure. It saves the sole of your shoes, whether they're Louboutins or not. But if they're Louboutins, they, they happen to, um, I must be like board certified in it. Yeah, it's like, you can go to pretty much any shoe cobbler. Problem is, is that, nope, see these have an upturn mm -hmm. on the toe. The leather spot can do that. Yeah, you gotta not. get, not just any old cobbler, you gotta get the upturn on the toe, mm -hmm. say. Um, I really enjoy talking to those girls on the couch, Melissa and Nia and Sana. I like them. That was Sana's second time being here. So nice. I don't think Nia's been here before, um, but I've, I've seen her out socially. Or maybe that was just at the beauty supply store in the dark and lovely box. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and Melissa, you know, I felt bad for not knowing where she came, where she went after the first best man. But she's, this is the movie's killer. My family, we cried and we laughed. Bye everyone. Bye. We cried and we left. Listen, do you know what you missed today? I have to tell you something. There's this woman and she, I don't know, I'm gonna share it all right. I need to go in there and pull her on the after show. Look, um, James, how old do you think the split lady was? I went to school. You, ah, that means that she's 150, no. like you. Now, how old is she? I was a freshman when she was a senior. Okay, so she's... She gotta be about 40, no. maybe 50. No, seriously. 50, about 50 or 52. Mm -hmm. Hi, fellas. Hi. She was a cheerleader. Back she was, really? That's how she That's just still knows how to do the split. <laughs> that was a scene, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Shout out to the view, it's but you awesome. won't see you won't see that on the no, view no, in the audience. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Look, Bye, have a great afternoon. Michael and Kelly, goodbye, you guys. Michael and Kelly, those are my friends, but their audience, you never see a 55-year-old woman doing a full split in the uh, in the alley. Did you see that? Mm -mm. Okay, well you missed it. You missed a real scene. She she did a full split on carpet. On carpet. Did you see it? Oh. I didn't see it. Unless you do it on some concrete, popping some baby oil, honey, you ain't did no split. Was it a dancer split? No, I'm playing. Yes, <laughs> she's 55 years old. She was a woman. She looked like the affectation of Florida Evans. Right? Oh, uh -oh. Uh oh. Did you my, see her? I didn't see it. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. <laughs> I felt so charged. I love my dress. I wore this dress on Fashion Police. I love it every time I see her wear that dress. <laughs> <laughs> I wore this dress on Fashion Police, although it didn't fit like this. I'm much thinner now than I was You're then. You're snatched now. Thank you. <laughs> what else? Being in the ways. <laughs> yep. I liked my outfit. Hello. So now tomorrow is the... Um, Jeannie Mai. The Jeannie Mai, who I love. Um, Jeannie Mai, um, who is now part of... She's a talk show host herself. She's on The Real. So I have to congratulate her. Um, but she's coming because, you know, she's a fashion person by trade and you said we're wearing a little black dress because Jeannie's coming to show us how to accessorize the perfect little black dress. My one black outfit. Well, what's it going to be? Um, we'll have options by the time we pop in the morning. I, I, okay, it can't be the bell shape. Man, we'll have options. Don't worry. Let's not talk about tomorrow today. <laughs> what's the point in what's the point in not thinking about tomorrow no, today? Uh, I got a dash. I love you. Bye. You love to watch so I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Antoine, let's get out of here. Antoine, what are you doing? Antoine? Mm, when we can, we need to we dash out of here. I don't like this wig anymore. <gasps> Why? Because I was looking at my reflection when I was on the couch with the other girls, and I decided that hair this long is now looking ridiculous. I mean, Melissa's was cute. Um, Sanaa's was good, a little too short for me. And Nia's was perfect. And we already have that wig. There she is right there. As a matter of fact, we have that wig 25 times over. It's not- Well, I got an old friend that I want to bring back tomorrow. That's the length of, um, 
of um, Shania's hair. Yeah, this is old. This is Jacqueline. This is what I want to do. I took home. What do you want to do? All right. I'm going to do my best. And remind you that this is the hair that you said that you wanted longer, so you had me to add length to it. Don't cut it. I don't want to cut it. Because I'm a woman and Leave I'll have, it long. And my mind will be changed to, to tomorrow. Tomorrow. But I just, <laughs> I just thought that it looked very out of date on the couch. I felt bad for myself. I didn't think you did. I think it was fine. This up on the desk you can take home. We can't compare ourselves to them. I thought you was really pretty. Look hot. Yeah, I look good. I yeah. didn't say I didn't look pretty. <laughs> I just said that I'm not in love with this wig anymore like I used to be. That's all. I like it. Then I should wear it? Then you should wear it. Morale, pop out of the way up. Look, I've been having this wig all of my life. It is time for a change. <laughs> but like I said, we can bring it back a few old friends. All right. <laughs> and a few new acquaintances. And bring back <laughs> controversy and daughter of controversy. You don't like them. I like them. Controversy is right here. I got Jacqueline that I took home. And you colored and, and, it. And worked on. She used to yes. so dark. Yes. So I can't wait to bring this back. All right. Tomorrow. Well, let's try something different for tomorrow. And hey. listen, you know, I don't feel comfortable showing my arms when I'm sleeveless. So, Willie, yeah. no more sleeveless dresses until April. Gotcha. That means tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it can't tomorrow. <laughs> Is Memsor still in there? No, he was there. Oh. I wanted to make the announcement to him also. I'll just point to you the split lady. Come on. I'm not going to make her do the split. Come on. <laughs> she probably split. Split lady's in there doing makeup. Mm -mm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. The last of the audience is leaving. <sighs> she was good, though. She was good, right? Wait, hold on. Split lady? Is the split lady here? It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I got it. Oh, no. It's a birthday girl. Can I get a Hi, birthday? happy birthday. I love your slip. Thank you. Oh, the split lady back there? <laughs> hey, where's the lady who did the split? She she didn't get up yet. <laughs> there, no, there she is. I saw her. There she is. No, no, no. I just want to show her from afar. I don't want her to do the split on the good, camera. Good, good, good. Come on, hurry. Turn around. Come on with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, the split lady. Come on. Hey, split lady. Donna. Oh, wait, no, here she is right here. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to show. There's my after show, and she did the split. That's it. Okay. Bye, Donna. Hey, you Bye, boo. Bye, you all. See you later. How can I get your body <laughs> James, James is very married. And he's got five big sons. That's right. <laughs> And a mean wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I just love doing the show. And it's only 20, it's only 18 minutes after 11 o'clock. And guess where I'm going to be at 11.30. Come on. Hey, Ro. <laughs> you guys did a great job today. You always do a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Not yet. <laughs> oh. And you too, Noel. Thank you. You did an excellent job. Melissa heads up the audience department here at the show. Okay. What time is the car coming, Ro? It's here now. It's here now, see? That's how fast Mrs. Hunter's getting out of here. Going home. You know why? Because it's basketball season. And I got grades to check and kids to regulate. But I love you for watching today. One of my favorite guys is coming tomorrow, Alan Cumming. I really do like Alan Cumming. He's been here before, and I can't wait to see him. Um, also, we're doing, like, you, like I, I told you, that um, what to wear with a little black dress. Janie's coming over. i got to take this drag off and get out of here. Or? I'm doing good. What are you kids up to? Oh, you know, just selling some of your stuff. Oh, is this what we do at the end of the show? This yes. is what we do at the end of the show. This one's really cute. Why don't I have this? I don't know why you don't have that one. Wait, hold on. That was like a special edition. It's a 4X. Girl, that's all we have left. All we have. Cute. Yeah, but I know some big ones. I know. 
That's why we got it. Yes. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm glad that we have 4X because, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Here. Now I want a nice presentation for our company. All right. Now let's see. What is this? These are lipstick pens. I love lipstick pens. Right. You take it off and there it is. I love this. Look, a lipstick pen. Sorry, with the bandy. Lipstick pens. Here's what I love. And I pull it out proudly when I'm in front of other people. I go like this. <laughs> Wendy, is that you? <laughs> Hi, y'all. <yeah. laughs> what else do we have? Oh, the bling ring. Nah. I love this. <laughs> This is, um, this is 10 carats. This is what a 10 carat ring looks like. You say? So we say, we say it's modeled after your ring. Right? Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. I don't have a 10 carat ring. I mean, okay. my main stone is seven. Dream big. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, I love these bags. Good for the beach. Is that what you use yours for? If I had one. When you... <laughs> Look at this bag. This is cute. Hey, Roberta. Mm -hmm. Use the company card, and can you rustle me up some of this stuff? Yeah, will you? Um, um, I need two of these, mm -hmm. one for my mom, and one for you. <laughs> you don't carry any Wendy paraphernalia. So, if you're gonna be my assistant, then help me. Promote, promote, promote. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's shameless. <laughs> Look, um, I need one of these hats, I'm serious, Roberta. Yep, I'm ready now. One hat. Um, I need one of these how you doing shirts in size double X, I think. I mean, I have some, but they're size. Is it cheesy for me to wear my own shirt? No. If Beyonce wore her Beyonce gear, would it be corny? See, my husband says it's, it's corny, but I say, oh, well, I worked real hard to get here and I'm gonna promote every chance I get. <laughs> When I was on the radio, my license plate said WNDY. <laughs> and I, yes it did. And I had the bumper sticker from the radio station on my, on my thing, Hot 103. This is back, you know, when I first got into radio. Um, or first got my first professional job here in New York. And I had the on-air light. That's cool. Sitting in the back. And I had a 1986 Subaru, which is the first year that they put that third light in the back. I got it for my college graduation first gift. Year. So it was about a year and a half, and then I landed my first job in New York. And I put the on-air plastic in front of the light. So every time I hit my brakes, it would awesome. say on-air, awesome. and it would be Wendy down here, and I'd be you. driving in my Subaru, promoting. A Subaru? A su Excuse me, it was brand new. <laughs> my my working-class parents, it was brand new. I went to school in Boston. My parents had no idea where I was going to work. They wanted me to be taken care of. All-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. I drove that stick. Subarus are good cars. Don't laugh at a Subaru, Brendan. I, I like a Subaru. I'm just oh, shocked you got a Subaru. Hey, Hi. Brendan. There's a lot of noise in here. How are you? He's the one that judged. Oh. Just in case you're one. Yep, What's he judged. That? I'm going to turn on the light just so you see him. Right. It's okay. not Clark Kent. It's okay, Jason. Uh, he's one of my executive producers. But he's very judgmental. <laughs> Why would Kelly Clarkson get pregnant? And before she marries, he judges. I learned from the best, I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is for street talk. This is when we go out in the street and ask people questions and those little tape pieces. Uh -huh. So we thought it would be great to have you voice the questions. Yeah, because what we've been doing is we've just been showing the graphics. So exactly. if somebody is not so watching will be their TV. Exactly, with you and the graphic this time. Okay, all right. So it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's as if you're asking me these questions in the street. That's how you should read it. Okay. Okay. Well, oh, my microphone's still on. Hi, Steve. Yep. Hey, Wendy. How are you? Steve sits in here all morning long and, and <laughs> listens to my microphone. You think it's Joni. No, it's really Steve. Joni is just the one out there on the floor. And every time he hears a jiggle, he's why I don't wear a lot of bangles. You ask about necklaces, he's why. I have a necklace on today, but it's very delicate. My mother's naked. What'd you say? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Besides, my neckline's very plunging today. No danger of a neck... Uh, of well, a necklace hitting it. I felt self-conscious, actually. You did? A little bit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're, we're rolling. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> if you were dumped, who would be your celebrity rebound? Okay. Three, two, one. If you were dumped, who would be your celebrity rebound? Which celebrity would you want at your Thanksgiving table? Okay. Which celebrity is the biggest turkey of the year? Bieber. <laughs> No, 
could be Alec Baldwin, though. You know, because Bieber's young. And I'm so glad everybody clapped when I said, what, wouldn't you be doing the same thing? Yes. Yes, they agreed. 19, he's a 40-something or 50-something. Alec Baldwin, yeah. yep. You know what, he, know, he should know better. And Chris Brown doesn't know better to do better because no, there's nobody in his camp teaching him. So I just chalked them up with stupidity and being young. Yeah. But after you get past 30, that young thing doesn't work anymore. If I did what Alec did, forget it. Kim Basinger getting the last yeah. laugh. Like yeah, so. absolutely. <laughs> no excuse for a guy our age. I know what they were judging me on in the audience today. Judging me because I said that, that uh, Evan Ross is clean and unsoiled, yep. and he should not be getting with, to for the purpose of marrying, a 29-year-old woman with a child who's a divorcee. Sorry, I said it. And if it was my son, I would try to talk him out of it. But you can only talk to kids but so much before you just have to go along to get along. I was so surprised that people thought that I was judging. They must not have sons. Well, I was on the side of the audience as well. Why? Because what if she just made a really poor choice or got married too young? It doesn't mean that she's an inherently bad person. I didn't say she was a bad person. No, you, Rewind. You watch did. the show at 4 o'clock. You I didn't. No, you're right. You didn't. I didn't say she was a bad person. No. But what I did say and what I, what I still believe, for, for the most part, there's an exception to every rule. When you are in your 20s and if you have children, you date like-minded like people in their 20s who have children. If you are in your 20s and you have no children, stay away. Stay. Who needs that kind of responsibility? Do you remember what it was like to be in your 20s? Yes. Yes. Do you? No. Exactly. <laughs> Neither do I. Exactly. I wish I did. Um, no, that's all I'm saying. And you can judge and we can argue all day long. But, you know, think of it if it was your son. But, but what's the negative for Evan Ross? That he just doesn't need this added responsibility of having stepchildren? Number one. Okay. Number two, he doesn't need the added... Oh, hi, Matt. Are we, are we going? Oh, yeah, uh, come on. Sorry. Let's, let's do it. One. Come on, you walk with we me. We were having hot topics with Steve. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, come on. All right, you're rolling. Okay. Which celebrity is the biggest turkey of the year? I did that well. Okay. We can continue talking and arguing if that's what you want to do. And these are for you, Andy. Okay, Wendy. Joni's outside, she'll get your mic for me. The rest are coming. Look how beautiful Michelle Obama looks in this. Ooh. She looks good, right? Dean, you good? Yep. Okay. She looks good. Oh, come on. Thanks for coming to hang out with me, Wendy. Uh, Thanks, Steve. I would have hung longer, but apparently. Next time. So we're just loading up. Okay. I'll be more prepped for hot time. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. You know, that that's all. You know, um, I just I just feel like the added responsibility, and it's not just about being Bronx's stepfather if they get married. It's about having to have a relationship with Pete Wentz. You know, like who needs that in their twenties? I don't know that Pete Wentz is a bad guy, but what if they have a tumultuous divorce thing go? Uh, look. Fight, go, fight, fight. Fight, Patrick. I wonder how much those bags go for. I have to go to wendyshow.com. I mean, I know we have stuff, but I just, I hope. Oh. Oh. Happy birthday, Alan. I really like Alan coming. I really do like him a lot. And I've seen, oh, be careful. I've seen him out before socially and he's, bye. Good luck with your Subaru. Yeah, shut up. I'm telling you, don't just my Subaru. My, my working class parents, listen, my parents gave me that Subaru with their hard earned money and they didn't even get a loan for it because they did not know what was going to become of me, the wild card middle child. Like I was the only sibling who had no student loans when I was in college. I had no student loans because my parents thought I was that much of a putz. You know what I'm saying? You know, come to think of it, I think that, I think they dissed me. <laughs> <laughs> what will become of Wendy? What will become of Wendy time? Blah. Yeah, we knew. Wanda, Wanda and Tommy are smart. Tommy's the boy and Wanda's the smart one. Oh my gosh, my boots came. Oh! Okay. They came, I'm gonna share them with you, and then you have to go because Suzanne and the gang are gonna come in and they're gonna brief me for hot talk. You can observe my new boots though while, while I take off my rings. Now I want you to know that they are not the Chanel quilted boots. Uh, they are not 
See, these boots to me aren't keepers because I'm not even sure I'm this girl. You know who this girl is? Some of you look really cute with your jeans and then the boots are tucked in and, and you got this little heel here and this little masculine thing going on here. I don't know that I'm this girl, but these boots were only a few bucks over $100 at Victoria's Secret. So as opposed to investing, you know, thousands on the Chanel version, I got the Colin Stewart version because I'm not sure that I'm this girl. I don't know. They're size 11s. They came. Uh, I don't think I'm this girl. I already feel tomboyish in them. Oh, I don't know. They're too masculine for me. I don't know. My foot's not even all the way in them. Wait, I'm going to keep them though. Maybe I can become this girl. Sorrel figures. Look how big my calves are. My calves, some of you girls, your, your legs swim in boots. Look at me. I mean, my finger barely fits inside. My calves are gigantic. Sixteen inches. How big are your calves? We've played this game before, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> um what was I saying to you? I was saying something. Oh, I was telling about my working class parents. My working class parents. So I had no student loans and uh, they bought me the Subaru for college graduation. They went to the Subaru dealership and didn't ask for a loan because they still didn't know what was going to become of me. Her and this harebrained scheme to be a newscaster or a DJ. 15. Fifteen at the biggest part. Yeah. I lost an inch in my gigantic calves. <clears throat> and it was brand new. And I kept it for like maybe four years. Never broke down on me. Comfortable to sleep in as I slept at so many rest stops in my quest. I wish somebody could be here to give me an opinion on my boots. You're here. I didn't like them. You don't like them? No. They're too... It's not for you. Why? I, I, I just, I don't picture you wearing those. Why? Maybe if you wear them with leggings. Maybe that's why. Because I see them on your... Maybe that's... Jeans? No. I'm not, I'm not this girl. You know what? They can send these back. Sorry. No, it's okay. No, I just needed one opinion. And, uh, you know, because I was already swaying. It's not like you were the ultimate uh, decision maker for me. In my mind, I was saying, I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. Like, when I wear boots, I, I like them to be, you know, sexy and, you know. <laughs> Oh, I know why I got them. I was working up. Ugh, I know why I got them also. I was working up a whole look around them. And it starts with my Catherine Mullandrino from Kohl's jacket, which it's quilted. It's cheap and cheerful. Oh my God, there's some new clothes. Okay, now. Do you maybe like the boots? Come Better. in here. Okay. okay, now. Do you like the boots? Jeans? A tank. I'm not this girl. Like, I know what you're thinking. All right, maybe date night. No, date night. I like to sex it up. I'm not wearing these. Um, on the show. No, on the show. Then I'd have to wear a jacket. I don't like to wear a jacket inside. I don't like all the layers. That's what I was telling Jeannie during commercial from the fashion show. She did a really good job for the fashion show. Jeannie Ma did. But, you know, those last two girls, they had a lot of layers on, you know? The one girl had a, a skirt over a dress. Well, you can do that when you're the size of a toothpick, but when you're a big meaty bone, you don't want all those layers. That's why you never see me wear um, 
suit jackets and jackets and leather jackets and stuff like that inside here on the show. That, that's exactly why. I like the least, the least amount of um, layers as possible. Layers that make me sick. So Jeannie was telling me that, um, that when I talked about the girls, the real, I think one day I went into a whole thing with you here on the after show and Jeannie watches the after show. And so she called up the other girls on the real panel and she said, you know, we have to have a meeting. You know? And so they all got together and they watched the after show and there wasn't a dry eye in the room. Isn't that sweet? I mean, I can't figure out why it is that, uh, that that's so shocking other than that sometimes when people do the same thing as you do, like a, a doctor doesn't, you know, maybe, you know, uh, speak kindly of other doctors or, you know, school teacher, you know, doesn't speak kindly of a school teacher, or, you know, talk show host. We just all can't get along. <laughs> Congratulations to them. And they're going to be on Fox, so they're, you know, part of my family in the majority of the country. You know, where they either come on before me or after me or something. Anyway, um, congratulations to them. Just what we need, another talk show. <laughs> How is it that I take something so beautiful and always Wendyfy it and make it something such, such a ridiculous mess? My boys. I love you for watching. See you next time. I've had these pants since forever. Do you notice the line of demarcation? I'm a tall girl. Do you see that they, they would stop right there? Do you see the line of demarcation? Everything is like a flood when you're tall, except I invented many, many years ago. These, these jeans have got to be, gee, seven years old for my own closet. There's seven jeans, five pockets, but with the stretchy like a legging. And I bought two pair of the same jean so that I can have them long enough to go all the way down to my ankles. Otherwise, a long, tall Sally like me, there's always a flood. You know, always. Oh, gladly. The best thing I could do now is take off the belt and let my gut go. Ooh. Oh. I really liked John Rich. What? Oh. I really, sorry. I really like John Rich. What a nice man. He was very comfortable too with our lunatic, lunatic crowd. He said he loves the show. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You just don't see, think a guy like that's watching our show. I know. <laughs> Why? Because I'm black? No. Why? Uh, I don't know. Don't put me on the spot. Hi, Marilyn. Sorry, I can't do <laughs> No, it's okay, Marilyn. Aw. 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 No, I know it, why you, know you say I mean? that. Got, because he's a man's man's he's man. He's a country guy. He, he's a country guy. He brought a bottle of whiskey. He cooks a turducken. <laughs> you know, he yeah, has right. enough big connections to make $1.4 million for Donald Trump's organization. So you would think. Not he's watching like Jeff Foxworthy. Yes. And not daytime talk. No, exactly. That's because right. people, sometimes and people, and I'm black, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, but no, you know what? Sometimes I think that people stereotype um, daytime talk, particularly this show, I get that. Like, guys will come up to me and say, I know I don't look like somebody who'd watch your show, but I do. I'm like, well, what is somebody who looks like who watches my show? They start with, if it's a guy, it's gay. It's not a black white thing. That's not what people say. It's gay, a gay guy, you know, <laughs> which is not true. It is absolutely not true, John. Yes, we can win if you weren't working watch, here, wouldn't I you watch, be watching? I watch your show every day, regardless. Well, you're I work here. Yeah. 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 Say three times a day. Yeah. 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 Say three times a day, not just. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, I watch the show. I think it's good. I mean, I just happen to work here. I watch it at 4 o'clock. On Fridays. On Fridays? I do. At, at the 10 o'clock showing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Fridays at 10 o'clock, I'm usually at the gym. Today I'll be here um, doing an interview with you. Or tomorrow I'll be here doing it. Today, I guess it's Friday. Be an interview with doing USA Daddy. Wait, come on. What was happening with my hair? Halfway through Hot Topics, <laughs> I looked down and saw what looked like a snarled traffic jam on both sides. Now, I know that this wig hair, I know that sometimes it swells. 
No, it was a new that product that I, I tried out, and I did not put any moisturizer on it. Sorry. This one's very interesting. This is her personal project. No, I want to watch this okay, Mom's yeah. Mabley. I saw her promoting it on Good Day New York. Whoopi Goldberg, Mom's Mabley. This is supposed to be an excellent new show. It's a serious role for Niecy Nash. Niecy Nash, Nash, a new show. This is the show. Preachers for Monday. The Preachers! Oh my gosh, the weekend's gonna be so good. And you know when I'm gonna watch this stuff? I know today's Thursday, but you're watching this on Friday for the after show. So now that it's basketball season, I'm back to being Carlot Mom. Do you know what Carlot Mom is? Carlot Mom means I like to get to his practice early enough because I just remember being traumatized. When I was a kid, I was traumatized by my parents being late constantly to pick me up. And I was like an orphan. And it was always so embarrassing, you know what I mean? So he has basketball practice from three times a week for two hours at a pop. I like to go at the hour mark. I don't know why, maybe because I have things to entertain me in the car. I bring my mail, I open the mail. I, you know, sometimes we meet the other mothers, you know, in the parking lot if it's not too cold out. We stand and talk in. What are you doing this weekend? I'm gonna go to Home Goods and I'm gonna buy some um, new Christmas balls and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love the Hot Talk panel. We had them, the three of them here already together. And I think the three of them, their chemistry, Don and Jane and Siggy is just fabulous. I, I adore each of them individually and adore them even more collectively when we scream on the Hot Talk panel. <laughs> oh, I'm a mom, you know. I would welcome a teacher to talk to the class like that. My kid would come home and I'd say, well, you are failing, you know? And you're making me look like I'm a failure of a mother because you're going to school failing. All you care about is the fire sneakers, you know? Mm. And the fit of some jeans, mm. whether they're low enough. Mm. All you care about is do-ragging your hair mm. so you have waves. Why don't you do some homework? See, this is my, that's my kid. Except my kid, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a good student and he's a respectable boy, but if he wasn't, all you care about is doing some damn push-ups and playing that rap music. Oh my God, how old am I? <laughs> That's what he does. Nine o'clock at night, all I hear up in his room, twerk, twerk, don't stop, get it, don't stop, um, French Montana and all them. And I go upstairs and he literally is doing those jump ropes like Muhammad Ali. He can do the, the foot out. I mean, he's, it's enviable. He's, he likes to exercise, and he's already done his homework by that point. But if he wasn't doing his homework, I would welcome a teacher to scream at um, my kid, the whole group of kids, uh, similar to that. Well, not my kid individually, but I think the whole group of kids in a classroom, not one person is, is to blame. It's, you know, all the kids are messing up. Messing up. School systems lose funding when the kids are stupid. And teachers don't get paid. Now y'all getting meningitis. Well, yeah, yeah. Our parents, our responsibility, I feel, as parents is to make sure our kids get a good night's sleep, make sure their homework is done to the best of their ability. If it's failing homework, make sure that you are there to be able to pick up and drop off, whether it's Huntington Learning Center, the school for extra help, or a private tutor. It doesn't even matter. Our responsibility is to make sure that our kids go to school with a reasonable breakfast in their stomach so they're not grouchy and falling asleep. And just cooperate. Like, you know, it's a team effort. Look who's talking. Me. What do I have on my desk? A, a note, an email from the gym teacher because apparently I haven't signed um, the grade release and she wanted to remind me that, that Kevin needs to remember to bring in his gym clothes. So, I'm, I'm not innocent either. All I'm saying is I appreciated her sending the email and, uh, and I'll, I'll get it, get on it when I get a chance. <laughs> no, I'll get on it. School is priority. No, I hate when the light bulbs blow out here. I mean, that would also help, yeah. Tristan, if, if we replace some of the lights around here. All right. Look, I have to have a meeting right now, and so um, you have to go. Monday's going to be so good. All hot topics. The preachers of L.A. are going to be here, including Reverend Jones, who married me and uh, my husband at the city court. And, of course, it's a short week because it's Thanksgiving. How are you eating? I love you for watching. Bye. Shutter balls. These are so good. And you do need an app, but the app is free. For the shutter ball. Thanks, Carl. 
I mean Charles. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. James never helps me like this. What? I offer. I don't want to hold your hand. You don't wash them after you go to the bathroom. I told you. <laughs> oh, you're so mean. Oh, you and Jason. I know. Wait, where am I going? Oh, <laughs> posing for you. Oh, I know. It's always funny to see like older men like that. Crip. Yeah. It is what it is. It's just the dress. It's, I, I mean, I didn't feel any particular way in it. Just the dress. All right, I have a meet and greet right now. Minnie and David Carter. Minnie and David? Guinea. Oh, Guinea. Oh, I just finished saying hello to you guys. Yes, you did. Hi. Hi. Nice meeting you. Hi, David. I'm all the way from Vegas to meet you. Really? Yes. So I don't understand. So you happen to be in New York and you got tickets for the show? We uh, we actually donated to the Ron Darling Foundation. The baseball, baseball player. Yeah, yeah for, the Mets yeah. player. And um, through Charity Bus. Wow. And, they, and, and it was part of the package. My wife, so, um, he surprised me and my husband with that. So I'm like, oh. Wow. She's your biggest fan. I know you've been out all the time, but she is. Oh, Even our eight, or sang yesterday on the 18th Monday, and I'm like, how you doing? That's a big deal. <laughs> Remember when Ron Darling was the hottest Met in town? Oh, right? You guys, well, we can take a picture. Yeah, let's take a picture. Come on, everybody. Thank you. Come on, everybody. Gather around. Wait, I'm going to sit down in my chair. Okay. What was the experience? What you expected? Oh, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> we had a little so bump sweet. in the road this morning, but... Um, no, what was, happened? Come on, let's okay. take a picture. Do you mind if I put this right here? How long have you guys been married? Uh, um, well, we've been, been actually 10 years. 10 years. Uh-huh. Well, it's nice to meet both well, of you. So thank, nice you. thank you. Thank you for your... Thank you. Watch your step. We really enjoyed the show today, by the way. Oh, please, come back when you want to. Sign this quickly. What? Oh, wait, I can't. I just okay. put Purell on my hands. <laughs> well, no, because the first thing that I was doing is remember, I would rush to the bathroom and I'd wash my hands in my office, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I got new rules about this cold thing and how I feel about it. Last week, I was just like, man down. Fortunately, I chased my cold out of my body and I'm back and I feel fine now. But Morel had a bit of a cold and he even asked me, he opens up, he says, I wonder if I gave you my cold. I was like, well, you probably did. He works like right in my face every day. It was Jason, I think. Jason Gable? Yeah, he was in bed all weekend. Well, Jason Gable, he also left early on, on Friday. Mm -hmm. And then Jasmine, the producer. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's been sick. And she talks up in my face, you know, about Ask <laughs> Wendy. There's, there's, there, so my new rule is never get offended when you see me take a piece of paper and put it in the way while I talk to, like if you're watching the show. Well, you wouldn't see it if you're watching, you'd see it if you were in the audience. But yeah, I'm, I'm no longer crouching down to be in people's faces to hear, nope. Mm -mm. Send me a flare or something. <coughs> I'm, I'm not getting, like this is how I talk to them now. So I talk to them like this. Yeah, well, I don't want to get sick. And also the same thing with our guests. You know, it's very important that I don't wait. Bye-bye! Bye -bye. <clears throat> it's very important that I don't wait until I get into my room to wash my hands. I need to give myself a preliminary wash out here. Oh my gosh! How beautiful and old fashioned is this? Isn't this... Reminds me of my mom. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of... Like, this is something that Samantha Stevens would have. Right? <laughs> on exactly Bewitched. what Samantha Stevens would have. How cute! <laughs> Dr. Gadget. You guys, I have the Cynthia dolls in the, in the makeup. Oh, she took the doll. Okay, oh, wait. Yeah, he was supposed to tell you that. I think no, but I didn't forget. Until okay. so now, forget. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> Listen, um, I have, I have to get right home. Kevin has basketball practice at five o'clock. It's three o'clock now. Uh, the basketball practice is from five to seven, and he gave, he gave me, um, he gave me uh, his telephone to to buy him an iPhone. So today, I'm buying him an iPhone. And not with my money, I'll say all. <laughs> He's buying it with his own money. He had a nice 13th birthday party. You know, he has a couple of dollars. 
he has a credit card and an ATM card and all that other kind of, you know, stuff that, you know, me and his father set up for him based on the proceeds of his party. So, you know, he has money. So I told him that it's going to be $500, even though I heard I can get one for 200 And guess who's going to keep the extra three? <laughs> okay. It's like charging him rent. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. So um, I have to go to the phone store and I have to get to practice because I'm a mom. Besides, I gave you a really good juicy show yesterday. A really good before and after show. I know you guys understand. So I'm just going to walk you to the door and ask you. Oh, I'm going to ask you to understand, okay? <sighs> Thank you. Love you for watching. See you next time. Best day ever on the best show ever. Hey, it's dark back here. Willie, is that you? <laughs> people just thought that um, uh, people were like caught off guard with the chainsaw and it was up to me to lead the charge I guess to tell people why a chainsaw is so cool and that is we've already we already gave away hundreds of dollars hundred and fifty dollars of nail polish come on girls everything can't be about us a towel warmer really that's something for the whole family or for just you Girl, come on. We gave away expensive makeup brushes. Can we at least get something for the men that only the men would care about? Because, look, I'm the chief cook and bottle wash at our house, but even I don't use a chainsaw. However, can I tell you something? The boy is now 13 and is, and things happen. I learned from Hurricane Sandy. The stupidest stuff happens. Sometimes it's a big, giant tree trunk like this. You know what I'm saying, James? Yes. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Brendan, I'm not dealing with this. What are you holding on to? The, the, tree, the, the tree trunk, it, the, the tree was knocked over by Sandy. Copy. Um, and you're gonna use the chainsaw? Me. No, but what I'm saying is, is that, um, sometimes it's those smaller trees also. Oh, copy. You're right. You know, Things that happen around your house, and what's the point in calling somebody to do it? If you've got a big ox called the sun upstairs. <laughs> and, That's exercise. Yes, and a touch tone, uh, a, a, a touch button chainsaw, not the one where you go, vroom. what? We had one of those when I was younger. My father would have to pour gas into it. Scary. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I grew up with it, always a couple of gas cans in the, in the garage. Nobody lives like that now. We had gas in the garage for the chainsaw, gas in the garage Barbecue. for the pushing um, lawnmower, gas for the riding lawnmower. Just there was always gas, and it always smelled like gas in there. And our, our dog Hans lived in the garage. You know? Bye, you too, AJ. Have a good one. Yep, enjoy your chainsaw. Yeah, I'd love to. Yep. Yeah, I'd love to. See? You know why? Because AJ lives in the suburbs like me, and she understands. Bye, Joni. You too, Joni. And you know what I'm going to do before I turn 50? I'm going to learn how to make rutabaga. <laughs> don't you think that'd be so funny? First of all, I don't even know what a rutabaga is. It's a, a, root. It's a vegetable. It's a root. And it's hard, yeah, probably. It's like a turn up. But you oh. make it sweet, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Red. They sweet up when you cook it. A lot of butter and salt. I like your wig. Thank you. I like yours too. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Only on this show do you do you go home with a wig and a chainsaw. <laughs> the entire crew says how long. Tell the entire crew I said. I will. How do you do? <laughs> and, and happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy Wait. your turkey. Bye. Thank you. Brendan, are you cooking yours? I know Suzanne doesn't cook. Um, oh, my mother-in-law is coming. She's doing some. I'm doing some. And my mom's doing some. And Bre and she's doing nothing. Nothing. She's not even the dishes. Uh-huh. That's yeah. how times have changed. Whatever. <laughs> I don't have to talk to the in-laws. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I like about cooking when people come over. I'm occupied. Doing stuff. I'm cooking. Oh my gosh, I'm going home. It's three o'clock. I'm going home. I can actually make it home in time for four o'clock to see Hot Topics <laughs> or wait for you to load it up at nine, Tristan. <laughs> or wait till midnight for BET. Right. 
This is a really black outfit, isn't it? Black, black, black. But I liked it. You know what? This is Kamali Culture from Walmart. Norma Kamali, one of my favorite designers. She does the high end. And she does the cheap and cheerful. And this dress is cheerful. Just paired it with a little YSL belt. And they pushed me out there. Hopefully my jokes were funny. I like Dr. Gadget a lot during the commercial break. DJ Booth was playing disco music. And Gadget and I were doing the hustle. And he's a great lead man. He had his hand in the small of my back. He caught me. We were, we were doing it. And then, and then I looked down on the floor and Gadget was going, don't you remember that move? That's an infamous 70s hustle move. Well, it's no secret that it's Tuesday <laughs> that I'm talking to you. So um, tomorrow's Wednesday and the Wendy studio is closed for everyone. So everyone, including Ro, will be at home. I guess getting ready for Thanksgiving. What am I gonna do tomorrow? Well, a good day off starts with a good robe. So I'll wake up in the morning and I'll put on a good robe and maybe some holiday hair. I don't know what that'll be. It might not be a full wig, it might be a turban with bangs coming out. You know, I have those also. Oh, I love a turban. A turban with a brooch in the front and the bangs coming out like the Queen of Sheba. Yes. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Either. Well, because normally when you come over, when you come over, you bring this camera, and it's not my on camera. Look, it's my deep chill. It's my homage to the Gabor sisters. <laughs> yes. You'll have to go. What were you doing here? Um, where is he? No, I like to have you here. That wasn't a read. I'm just asking. Okay. No, I, I'm just, I don't know where he went. Well, what time did he tell you he was leaving? He, got, he got my makeup together. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on. It's set. <laughs> All I needed to, you know, just a little blotting action and you're good. Dr. Gadget didn't need makeup? He had on makeup. He brought his own people. Oh! Hair and makeup people. Fabulous. He was done. Fabulous. <laughs> and then Whoopi, did you do anything? Whoopi says she doesn't need much help. She, she just stuck her head in and said, hey, y'all. Hey, mm -hmm. yeah. Take that brush away from me. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. I love Whoopi. And then where's wardrobe? Where's wig? Where is everybody? How did they just escape? <laughs> We're on vacation. No, your hair is looking great, so he... I know. That hair is everything right now. Do you know who this was? This was the side part girl. She was, this was the side part right. girl. That's her. He just waved it so beautifully and just. No, well, the, the part was starting to thin. And so we made it a center part and he cut layers. Come on, enough about this. I see <laughs> what you're trying to do. Trying to give, make me give you a long after show. I just told you I have to go home. <sighs> have a nice Thanksgiving. I hate the food on Thanksgiving. Oh, the, the boys are doing shots of wild turkey. Uh-oh, Wade's about to get turned up. <laughs> oh, you know, the holidays are great to see everybody else be happy, honestly, and that's when you know you are an adult. I'm grown. <laughs> are you? I love you for watching, see you next time. Happy holiday, Tristan. Thank you.